Pokemon, Cynthia's fiancé at the beginning, author, Legend Love Powder. 151 God Why Who Doesn't Talk About Martial Arts, Rayquaza is angry, as Mulin brought Reshiram into the fray. Luthal's attention totally attracted to them. Kaluni, Cynthia, Olympia and others don't worry about being chased by Luthal anymore. Plus Mulin's super powerful Pokemon are beside them. Protect them. The sense of security is overwhelming. Kaluni rescued by Mulin. Mema has been watching the battlefield. Mulin calmly directs. In addition to Rayquaza, the Lord of Soaring in the Sky. Mulan has also been recognized by Reshiram, the Dragon of Truth. It can be recognized by two legends. In the entire Pokemon world, Mulan should be alone. Kani's eyes flickered slightly. There is a hint of admiration in the tone. Indeed, Mulan is the only one who can be recognized by the two legends. Cynthia is seven points proud and three points envious. By the way, Cynthia, I remember you said that when you were in the Unova region. The spiral tower of the dragon that you entered with Mulin. How did Mulin get Reshiram's approval at that time? Kaluni's beautiful eyes sparkled slightly. As for how Mulin was recognized by Reshiram. Very interested. After all, who wouldn't want to tame legends? If you can learn Mulin's 747 method, maybe it will come in handy in the future. Facing Kaluni's question, Cynthia's face was a little depressed. Indeed, as Kaluni said, she is the spiral tower of the dragon entered with Mulin. But the holy and elegant white dragon at that time, from beginning to end, didn't even look at her. Mulin was directly selected. How to say? It's just that Reshiram asked a question. After Mulin answered, and then, subdued, Cynthia said simply, "So simple. Answer the question. You can conquer Reshiram?" Question mark. Kalun looked in disbelief. Cynthia faces doubts from her best friend. He waved his hand helplessly. That's okay too. Real or fake? If this is what someone else said, Kaluni would definitely think that the other party was fooling her. Real. Cynthia saw Kaluni's exaggerated expression. If tell her. That's when Reshiram was willing to follow. Mulin did not immediately, gack, agree. Instead, consider taking over again and again. Kaluni would probably be even more surprised. Look back to Reshiram and the battle with Yutl. In order to deal with the god's fire of punishment, which is full of fire energy, Yutl can only be used. The same level of oblivion wing to fight back. But in front of Mulin, the moving spring, Reshiram's energy is almost endless. Overclocking mode gathers energy crazily. One move fusion flare just dropped. Immediately connect to the next move. The entire battlefield was filled with flames, resulting in a rapid rise in temperature. Boom tilde, the fusion flare that never stops. It hit Yutl. Zit tilde, Yutl let out a groan. For Yutl, Mulin didn't hold back at all, just like you did with other Rampage Pokemon before. Only stun each other. Then it is possible to have a good conversation or treatment. One hit. Mulin spoke again. White dragon, blue flare, raw tilde. Reshiram let out a melodious dragon cry. The sky was filled with flames. It all converged on him, as if wearing a layer of armor made of pure flames. Then, burst out a powerful momentum. He rushed towards Yutl with all his strength. Yutl who took hits in a row, can't dodge at all, can only shrink the wings. Very Shiram's divine fire rush, boom, powerful impact, press Yutl directly to the ground. A huge deep pit was smashed out. Meanwhile, Hiram's god is gone, also transferred to Yutl's body. Tarsus fire. The burning of Yutl's body surface continued unabated, caused the feathers on his wings. Part of it was burned. Che Tilda. Yutl struggles up from the deep pit and flies desperately. Get out of Reshiram's attack range. He cannot be absorbed using the Oblivion Wing. At the moment, he is a younger brother. Soon, Yutl was bombarded in succession. Look lock on Mulin. The reason why Reshiram can attack without stopping, all because of Mulin, has been sending energy to him, and the surging three god powers on Mulin. For Yutl, it is a deadly captivate. If you can absorb previous injuries, Rayquaza didn't want to talk to him. Spit up Shinhu O, oh, the dignity of the beast. Do you want it? Rayquaza, the lord of soaring in the sky, hovering above the ozone layer, blocked in front of Mulin. Reshiram changed from the melodious dragon cry before and became rage, angry, Chenwood colored eyes, can clearly see, an oblivion wing is sent, anger is jumping, Luthal who keeps dodging the flames, Reshiram is enough to deal with it, but he pays attention to Mulin all the time, Luthal actually made a move on his inheritor Mulin, Reshiram quickly pulled back to the defense, Luthal, don't talk about martial arts, overtake him, for the true brave who attacked him, but the problem is, he turned towards Mulin abruptly, neutralizes Luthal's attack, although he is sleeping, Rayquaza swung his 100 meter body, quickly attack in the direction of Mulin, flying towards the direction of Mulin at high speed, please subscribe automatically tilde, originally, the power of Luthal's level, facing the dark red beam of light exuding a withering aura, raw tilde, dark red energy, think here, 152 the wronged white dragon cooked Luthal, Mulin attacked himself for Luthal, I don't think there is any problem, after all, Luthal at this time, has fallen into a frenzy, attack trainer, in order to find a breakthrough, isn't it normal, just keep it down, wouldn't it be better?
but for Lei Hiram who is in the battle. Luthal's action just now. It is Kaiguago's contempt to protect and carry out the will of the true brave. It is the duty of the Dragon of Truth. If you haven't lied down yet, the real brave has been killed. That also implements the truth of the fart. Raw Tilda. A furious Reshiram, as if to let the surrounding air all burned up. White and holy feathers on the body. It seemed to be stained with a layer of red flame. Rapidly launched an impact towards Yutl. Boom. Violent shock. It hit Yutl again. Bombard the opponent to the ground. Reshiram didn't stop, like the tail of an engine. Spin like crazy. Just open your mouth and you will get a hot fusion flare. Blast towards Yutl in the pit, facing a series of powerful attacks. Yutl can only fold his wings, incarnate into a cocoon. Resist the burn of the flame. Several consecutive flame bombardments. The feathers on Yutl's body. All were burnt by the flames. Him at this time. It's like a free-range chicken that has been stripped of its feathers. There is no more power of the god of destruction. Reshiram in rage. The attack used is too terrifying. Lutal flew out of the pit. Immediately alert Reshiram. Beware of the opponent's re-attack. I saw Reshiram, still furious. He just concealed his anger, and did not attack again. Instead, it's on the sidelines. Stared at him silently. Just when Lutal wondered. From high above, the mighty long white game. Raw Tilda. There was a dragon roar that implied anger, resounds throughout soaring in the sky. Rayquaza? Isn't Rayquaza in the Hoan region? Why is he here? Kalun looked in disbelief. Could it be that Mulin summoned him? Cynthia immediately remembered that it was Mulin who did it. But soon, she rejected her own idea. Judging from the situation that Reshiram suppressed all the way just now, Lutal lost. It was only a matter of time. Mulin doesn't need to do anything extra. Could it be because Lutal attacked Mulin just now? That's why Rayquaza came to help. Kaluni and Cynthia exchanged glances. Neither can understand why Rayquaza is here. Three girls middle school. Olympia looked at Rayquaza idly. There were slight triples in the eyes. For why Rayquaza is here. Mulin didn't know either. Obviously he didn't call him. Could it be that Rayquaza just passed by? Before Mulin could think about it. Rayquaza made a move. Lord of Soaring in the Sky Rayquaza. There was a dragon roar, just this dragon roar, targeted at Reshiram. Blame the other party for not doing their duty of protection, face Rayquaza's blame. Reshiram dared not refute, Lord of Soaring in the Sky Rayquaza. But there is an existence one level higher than him. Afterwards, Lee Kong Zhao's huge dragon ball, then stare, Little, who was burned into a wild chicken. Countless turbulence surges, thunder flashes in the sky. The symbol of Delta has become extremely dazzling. Dragon Mighty Mighty. That was the prelude before Rayquaza used the exclusive skill Dragon Ascent. Dot dot task for flowers. Suddenly, Rayquaza swung his 100 meter body, surrounded by one Jun Thunder, launched the strongest attack on Yutl. Yutl burned to the ground. The breath is locked on by the high-ranking Rayquaza lock on. Can't dodge at all. Boom. The mountains shook for a while. It's like a mountain crumbling and a river running dry. Rayquaza with all the might. Take Yutl directly. Blast into the dust. In the smoke. Rayquaza completely ignores Yutl. Fly straight out. Raw Tilda. The high-pitched dragon chant resounded through the entire soaring in the sky again. Zero. Yutl was already badly injured. Take another round from Rayquaza's Dragon Ascent. Completely defeated. Retransformed into a cocoon of destruction. Finished Yutl. Rayquaza gave Reshiram a deep look. Then the 100 meter divine body swung again. Returned to the Nine Heavens. Just before leaving, Rayquaza activates telepathy. Had a conversation with Mulin. Mulin middle dot. Protect yourself. What's the matter? Just call me. Knowing that Rayquaza is worrying about himself. Just came here to help. The corners of Mulin's mouth raised slightly. Revealing a smile. Rayquaza, you have a nice personality. Can do it. First blamed by Rayquaza. Then Rayquaza stole the limelight. Reshiram is very angry. All of these. All blamed on Luthal who doesn't speak martial arts. Even if the other party turned into a cocoon. Reshiram, don't let him go. Spit up God's fire of punishment. Constant burning. It's as if they are going to roast each other. In order to relieve the depression in my heart. 153 The well-behaved God Zed. Kaluni who turns sadness into joy. The cocoon of destruction that originally emitted black hair, after Reshiram's efforts. Burnt and red, estimated Yutl inside, it has become, sprinkle some cumin powder and you can eat roast chicken, Bay I long, it's almost enough. Mulin waved to him, hey Tilda, when Mulin spoke out, Reshiram then gave up the attack, come back, holy Lucas emanated from Reshiram, soon, it turns back to the light stone, back to Mulin's hands, at the same time, Everyone after the battle ended, they gathered around Mulin one after another. Mulin, are you okay? Cynthia circled around Mulin. It's okay, I'm fine, it's fine. Make sure Mulin is okay. Cynthia was relieved now. The other side. Kaluni 660 walked towards the three elites who had turned into stone statues. Dejected. Mr. Wickstrom. Mr. Jimmy. Miss Drasner. Sorry. It's all because I don't have enough ability. That's what caused you to be like this. While talking. Pressing Nis beautiful eyes. Can't help but shed sad tears. Seeing a good girlfriend so sad. Cynthia hugged each other. Let Kaluni put her head on her shoulder and cry bitterly. Since the event started. Olympia who hasn't spoken much. Staring at Mulin's handsome face. He said faintly. 
It is said that Xerneas can heal the wound left by Yutl. Mulin professor recognized by Rayquaza and Reshiram. Maybe you can, too, get some vibes with Xerneas. The reason why Olympia said so. That's because she can clearly perceive it. Mulin's body contains a powerful force. Compared to Sabrina who doesn't know how to use her superpower. Olympia is very familiar with the use of superpowers. Through the battle between Reshiram and Yutl just now, she could vaguely sense it. The energy in Mulin's body. Continuous flow to Reshiram. Help Reshiram. Quickly condenses and restores energy. Olympia's words. Let Kaluni and Cynthia look at each other. All concentrated on him. Dot. Karuni looked at Mulin with rain. His eyes were full of hope. Cynthia did the same, staring at Mulin. Mulin didn't answer. Instead, he took a deep look at Olympia. Then under the hopeful eyes of the two women, he walked towards Xerneas who had turned into a withered tree. Their tree trunks. Rotten bark. The whole tree is lifeless. Put your hand gently on the bark that seems to fall off as soon as you touch it. At the same time, the three divine powers were poured into it. Gradually, the withered tree began to change. A green bud sprouted from the tree. With the infusion of the three divine powers, the old bark falls off, exposing a thick tree trunk. It took a while. It should be fine. Mulan withdrew his hand, together with the three girls, gazing at the tree that has been reborn. The big tree glows with four colors of light in the eyes of everyone. The big tree transforms into Xerneas. On Xerneas, although the wounds left by the battle are still there. But at this time, she was no longer weak. Cultivate for a while, will be healed, full of vitality. It was activated again because of the three divine powers. Tall Xerneas, to Mulin, bent all fours, kneeling. Yo yo tilde. Xerneas sent a dear cry of thanks to Mulin. Mulin felt something. Reach out and stroke Xerneas' gleaming antlers. Xerneas also stretched his head over sensibly. Let Mulin touch more conveniently. Meanwhile, Mulin and Xerneas, it was as if a bond had been established. Xerneas, can you bring them back to normal? Mulin spoke softly. Xerneas was the sweetest he'd ever seen, the most gentle beast. Yo yo tilde, Xerneas, kneeling on the ground, stood up. There was a deer cry in the air. Take her feet as the origin. The vitality is directed towards the surroundings. Swing like water ripples. Grass, rushing to the ground again. Flowers also reveal their original beauty. Petrified Wickstrom, Jimmy. Drasna, and their Pokemon, all returned to action. Mr. Wickstrom, Mr. Jimmy, Miss Drasna. Kaluni turned from sadness to joy. The name of the three elites was called out in surprise. Thanks a lot. Mulin smiled at Xerneas, a Pokemon capable of resurrecting the dead, except Xerneas, and photographer Ho-Oh. Although Ho-Oh is able to resurrect the dead, but it cannot regenerate the earth, Xerneas is able to do this. It is not easy. Of course. With Xerneas' weak chicken fighting power, Ho-Oh estimates a sacred fire. You can easily overwhelm her, in the final analysis, or their respective authority is different. Mulin Professor, thank you. Thanks to Mulin Professor, recover from petrochemical contest condition 3 elite. After Karuni's talk, they all stepped forward to thank Mulin. Two flowers bloom, each representing a branch. The reason why Yutl woke up early, then enter the violent contest condition. It's all because of Lissandra of Team Flare. Used the method the rockets taught him. Wake up from Yutl. Then to the whole process of being beaten hard and finally forced to fall into a deep sleep. Team Flare from start to finish. They are all using the holographic projection technology they developed to have a panoramic view. In Team Flare's secret base, Lissandra, who saw the whole process under his eyes. Complex expressions. At this time, a female voice came. Having such a powerful ability, no wonder Giovanni is so afraid. We must unite all organizations to deal with him. As long as he is there, then all organizations plan. It's all in vain. Torka, it is the Elite Four Pekla of the Carlos region. Pekla is one of Elite Four 2.1. Likewise, she is also a member of Team Flare. It's just hidden deeper. Lysandra said, indeed. It is recognized by the two legends of Rayquaza and Reshiram. It can be said that there is no one before. However, Ambitious Giovanni, I won't give up so easily. Now the action on Cyrus' side. It has already been harvested. I think it won't be long before we can see a more exciting drama. After Lysandra finished speaking, the people under rival waved their hands, order to go on. Monitor that Mulin's movements in real time. As soon as he leaves the Carlos region, we will launch the operation to capture Reltal. Yes. 154 Cynthia, I made a mistake. I have to accept punishment. With Yutl reincarnated into a cocoon of destruction, Xerneas brought the land back to life. This incident has also temporarily come to an end. Carlos Alliance, announced that the crisis has been resolved. Just how to fix it? Carlos Alliance has not made an announcement, so as not to cause uneasiness among the people of the Carlos region. A top secret file was formed. Internal circulation within the Alliance. Lumios City has regained its former prosperity. Mulin and Cynthia also returned to Kaluni's spacious and contest villa. Kaluni is temporarily absent due to the work of hosting Lumios City. Inside the room, Cynthia held Mulin and asked, Speak. Where have you been these two days? Why didn't you report to me in advance? For the interrogation of Cynthia, Mulin said, report to the leader. This time it was an emergency. I roughly told Cynthia what happened. It's just that there are some things that the Dew Party didn't mention. 
26. Cynthia glanced at her mouth. He hummed and said, Why Olympia? You are called the child of your destiny. I was not allowed to find you at that time. Say what gift of fate you are receiving or something. Destiny's child? Mulan doesn't know Olympia. What did they say to Cynthia? But he didn't want to dwell on the subject for too long. He took the initiative to say, You also know. They who engage in psychic are a little bit of a god. Say something you don't understand on purpose to ignore Hiroto. Even if I'm really a child of destiny, I don't care at all. What I care more about is my other identity. While talking, Sleepy looked mysterious. This piqued Cynthia's interest immediately. Hold Mulin's arm. He asked curiously, your other identity, what is it? Mulin put on a pair. What? It looks like you don't know, said, what is my most important identity? You don't know? Mulin didn't say anything, but Nerona became more and more interested, shaking his head. I don't know. Mulin scratched Cynthia's small nose, pettingly said. The identity that I care about and value the most. Of course it's the identity of Cynthia's husband. Little idiot. Hate. Was scolded by Mulin. Cynthia wasn't angry at all. Especially hearing Mulin with endless tenderness. When saying the three words little idiot. The whole person is sued. Leaning his head gently on Mulin's shoulder. Mulin continued to say in a magnetic voice. The thing I am most looking forward to now. It's the championship ranking match. Because once it's over. Meet as planned. You are my bride. Matilda. Cynthia. Holding Mulin's arm. Snorted softly. Husband, is your mouth covered with honey? Why so sweet? Mulin hugged the little girl in his arms, said softly. No matter how sweet honey is, it is not as sweet as my little baby. There is a saying, a person who is close to vermilion is red, and a person who enters you is sweet. Cynthia heard the words, with big eyes inside, full of tender glances. Looking up at Mulin, said tenderly, Husband, you're a little weird today. Mulin, what's wrong? Cynthia replied delicately, it's so cute. Rustic love story isn't it? Mulin hugged Cynthia in his arms at once. Cynthia also hugged Mulin's neck with her backhand. Mulin tilted her weight and said, honey, are you eating too much sweets these days? Became fat? Cynthia looked at herself, replied, no, why did you say that? Mulin said with a smile, because you are in my heart, the position is getting heavier and heavier. After teasing a few words, Mulin said badly, that's right baby. This time, if I hadn't arrived in time, is it a bad thing? Seeing Mulin's expression, Cynthia probably guessed what Mulin wanted. Eyes rolled, pretending to be angry. You still have the nerve to mention. If you arrive later, your wife and I will turn into stones and buy them. When I turn into a stone, let's see what you will do in the future. Yes yes yes. Mulin immediately said, my wife is right. Let my wife be scared. It's all my fault. Cynthia blinked her beautiful eyes. He joked. It's not enough for a simple 260 to know it's wrong. You have to have a punishment before you can remember it. Otherwise it will happen again next time. Finished. Cynthia pushed Mulin down. He held down his hand, not letting him move. My wife is right. Mulin said righteously. If you make a mistake, you must accept the punishment. Only one condition. Cynthia was happy. He stood up and said, punishment, do you think it's a play? Can we still negotiate terms? Mulin quickly corrected his words. It's a mistake. It's not a condition. That's an immature racy suggestion. Cynthia waved her hand. Say, do you have any suggestions? After finishing speaking, he turned his back, looking for something in the backpack. Mulin, hopefully when the mistakes are corrected, move with emotion and understand with reason. Be inclusive. Mulin hasn't finished yet. Cynthia threw a package at him. After seeing what it is, Mulin stopped talking. 155 Cynthia's Restaurant Theory, Whereabouts of free-range chicken? Next morning, Mulin got up early. Lead the Pokemon. Train at the training ground. Karuni, after a busy day, also finally finished dealing with Lumio's city. With Cynthia, leisurely eating breakfast. Hey Tilda, so tired. I'm bored. Cynthia put her head in her hands. I ate a piece of red bin cake listlessly. Kaloon gracefully took a sip of her coffee. He smiled and said, I was busy with work all day yesterday, and I didn't feel tired. You rested for a day but you still feel tired, had two bites of breakfast, a sleepy Cynthia, lie directly on the sofa, he said casually, you're right, but there are some people who can't be rescued and arrested, during the conversation, Cynthia glanced out the window meaningfully, Mulin training with Pokemon, Kaluni understood what Cynthia meant, his face soon turned rosy, Cynthia saw Kaluni's face change, I don't care either, he said to himself, after tossing and tossing for so long, I am already exhausted, but just don't let it go, what else can I say, people can't do it, People can't do it. Kaluni sat next to Cynthia. Look out the window with her. He smiled casually, but I see that Mulin is in good spirits. Wake up early in the morning for training. Why are you so weak? I heard Kaluni say that she is weak. Cynthia reached out to scratch her itchy flesh. While scratching, he said, where am I weak? I'm super good. Okay, it's just that Mulin is stronger than me. Ha 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 ha. Itchy. Caroline is itchy. He repeatedly raised his hands in surrender. Cynthia withdrew her hand. Sometimes I wonder, 
he said. Mulin is too that. It would be great if someone could share with me. Kaluni looked at Cynthia in surprise. Your idea is dangerous. How can you push your husband out like this? Cynthia shook her head silently. It's like when you go to a restaurant to eat, he said. If you go to restaurant A to eat, you feel that the food is not good, or you are not full. Then what will you do if you are still hungry? Occasionally once or twice, maybe you will bear it. But what if you can't get enough to eat every time? Then why not go to another restaurant for dinner? If you go to other restaurants for a long time, will you go back to Hotel A? Kaluni opened her mouth wide, obviously not expecting Cynthia to say this. It seems that something is wrong. But it seems that there is no way to refute it. At this time, Cynthia looked at Kaluni meaningfully. Being stared at by Cynthia like that, Kaluni quickly said, What are you looking at me Tilda? I tell you, don't have any bad thoughts. Hey hey. Cynthia just laughed but didn't speak. While the two girls were chatting, Mulin finished training, came to the side of the two women. He smiled and said, what were you talking about just now? Such a fun chat. Nothing. Kaluni's pretty face was a little hot. Cynthia took Mulin's arm with a smile, said, let's talk about where to eat. Have a meal? Mulin glanced suspiciously. Some Karuni who avoided his gaze. But don't take it to heart. Chat between women. Sometimes it's amazing. Mulin took out his phone. That's right. I just found this news. You should be very interested. After speaking, he handed the phone to Cynthia, lazy Cynthia. He took the phone casually. When she glanced at the above content, the whole person immediately became energetic. Read out loud and excited what is on the news. It is reported that it is in the crown grassland of the Gala region. Found a Pokemon with an unusual appearance. This Pokemon is described as a bird Pokemon. Orange feathers, and black's long, pointed beak. Outside wings, inside tail and belly are orange spike feathers. His legs are black with muscular thighs. When the feathers rub against each other, they make a crackling sound like electricity. When attacking, it can release stronger power. According to the witness's description, Pokemon experts have speculated. It's possible that this Pokemon is the Zapdos of the Gala regional variant. Read the entire paragraph. Cynthia was jumping up and down excitedly. Zapdos of Gala regional variant. If only I could tame this Zapdos, then I will be the second person to subdue the legend. There is also a championship ranking match. You can definitely play Wallace and Yulongdu. The position of the top three is absolutely stable. The Wallace of the water system, the Dodo bird of the flying system, all are restrained by the electric system. For Zapdos with a strong affinity for electricity, of Cynthia has been paying attention. Although Zapdos is a relatively low-level beast, it also has its own clan. It's just that Zapdos can be regarded as a legend anyway. It is not so easy to meet. Husband, let's go right away. Go to Gala region region. I'm going to tame this Zapdos. Cynthia shouted excitedly. Mulin touched Cynthia's head. Dotini said, okay, okay, it's up to you. Yay Tilda. Kaluni looked at Cynthia Ling who was interacting intimately with Mulin. I don't know why, but I feel a little envious. 156 Cynthia. Would you choose Sabrina or Kaluni? Kaluni is the Grand Duke of the Carlos region. Arrange for a private jet. Getting to the Gala region is not difficult. In Kaluni's manner, the captain waits for several staff members. The aircraft is being adjusted. Get ready for takeoff. How long have you been here? You have to go again. Karuni held Cynthia's hand and said reluctantly. Cynthia stroked the other's hand. There are also some good girlfriends who are reluctant to part with themselves. Wait until I tame Zapdos. The championship ranking match is over. I will accompany you again. Two women. They are all region champions. They are similar in age and have many common topics. They are very good sisters to each other. Okay. Kaloon pursed her lips. As a good girlfriend, she knew that Cynthia was bent on subduing Zapdos. To strengthen the combat effectiveness of your own team. I know I can't keep her. I had no choice but to open my mouth and said, You have subdued Zapdos later. Remember to open the video for me to see. I haven't seen Zapdos yet. All right. All right, Cynthia agreed. Then Paul Karuni, take two steps to the side. At the same time, he secretly took a peek at Mulin 260. Make sure Mulin didn't notice the two of them. Then he whispered in Karuni's ear, Karuni, do you still remember the hotel theory I told you? How about you? Cynthia wasn't done yet. Kaloon immediately pushed her away, blushing pretty face. Spit, you are really messing around. This kind of thing can't be said casually. Carney's voice was a little loud, attracted Mulin's attention. Meet Mulin's gaze, moved towards himself. Kaluni's pretty face, more and more ruddy, quickly pushed Cynthia onto the plane. Go, go. If you don't go, your Zapdos will go away. Hey, Cynthia walked into the plane with a teasing smile on her face. When the plane carrying Mulin and Cynthia disappear into the distance, Kaluni looked back silently. At this moment, she felt an inexplicable sadness in her heart. Kani's body, as many auras, as the Grand Duke of the Carlos region, distinguished status, can become a well-known actor. Proof that she's not bad-looking. Serves region champion. It also shows that she is a powerful trainer. These auras. It all shows that Kaluni is excellent but actually, sometimes too good, on some level, it also has great limitations, a man who can make Kani look good, there are only a few who are also region champions, 
but for these region champions, for Kaluni, not out of reach, just work hard and concentrate on training, Kaluni believed they could be defeated, only Mulin, only then can Kaluni have a kind of admiration to look up to, the Pokemon in hand is powerful, it has been recognized by two legends, he is knowledgeable and handsome, Kaluni remembered it well, when she confronts Yutl, when almost desperate, it was Mulin's big hands who hugged her, when she sat behind Mulin, the sense of security is overwhelming, this is someone else, can't do anything, Kaluni, I warn you not to think about it. Mulin already has a master, and he's the fiancé of a good girlfriend. Kaluni pinched herself quietly. Then he withdrew his gaze a little dimly. Is flying. Go to Mulin in the Gala region. Kje. At this time, I'm looking at the map of Crown Snowfield. Cynthia, who was sitting next to her, rolled her eyes, leaned in front of him. He smiled and said, Husband, I ask you a question. Mulin put away the map. He said casually, You ask. Cynthia blinked her eyes wide. Asked, Do you think Sabrina is prettier? Or Kaluni is prettier? Mulin didn't even think about it. He said directly, I think my baby is the prettiest. Hate. Cynthia smiled. He lightly punched Mulin's chest with his powder fist. I mean it seriously. If you had to choose, would you choose Sabrina or Kaluni as your girlfriend? Mulin, I choose you. No, I'm serious. Cynthia pouted. It took a little effort. Squeezed Mulin's arm. Although Mulin didn't know what Cynthia was thinking. But instinct told him. Neither can be selected. Replied. I'm serious too, huh? Cynthia folded her arms and turned sideways. Ignore Mulin, question mark. Women are really in June, they can change as they say, even if you are familiar with song teacher. Mulin didn't know why Cynthia asked so. But women, there is always nothing wrong with coaxing. Leaning to his side, he gently hugged each other with his hands. Coaxed, oh baby, it's all my fault. Don't be angry. Cynthia shrugged, struggle a bit, turning around and asking again stubbornly. If you have to choose, would you choose Sabrina or Kaluni? Finished. Immediately put on a look you have to say. Don't say I'm really angry. Mulin asked uncertainly. Do you really want me to choose? Right. Be sure to pick one. Cynthia affirmed. Think of the closeness between Kaluni and Cynthia. Choosing Kaluni should be the correct answer. Mulin hesitated and said, then dot 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 then I choose Kaluni. Heard. Cynthia smiled again. Act like you answered correctly. Mulin has one head and two big ones. I couldn't help sighing in my heart. A woman's heart. The sea needle. 157 Cynthia. This wild chicken is Zapdos? Question mark. Crown Snowfield. Located in the southern part of the Gala region. Here, many powerful wild Pokemon live. It can be said to be better than Mount Silver in the Johto region region. Even more dangerous. The reason why this place is more dangerous than Bayan Mountain. The reason is here. There are many energy points scattered around. It is said that it was 3000 years ago. Wu Dana causes the Dark Knight phenomenon. Defeated by the hero's Pokemon Sohibi and Zamaranti, the gigantic body was broken up. Wu scattered body fragments floating all over the Gala region. Energy points are formed. Wild Pokemon absorb these energies. It will enter the extremely large form. That's why the danger level of the Crown Snowfield, much larger than other places. It's so cold. Cynthia in a thick down jacket. He let out a sigh of relief and looked to his side. Mulin, who only wore a baby's autumn clothes. Baby, are you really cold? Not cold, although the surrounding snow. But for Mulin who has three divine powers, not too much feeling. Mulin warmly helped Cynthia tighten her collar, looking at the vast expanse of whiteness, said, except for the Zapdos inhabiting here. There are still more advanced legends. Cynthia tilted her head, asked suspiciously, a legend higher than Zapdos? Did you see it in the literature? Okay, Mulin replied softly. Then he said, the legendary king of Gala lives in this snowy field. I heard that some people have seen his Mercedes passing by. The king of the Gala region, King Laguin. King Laguin has three forms. Normal form, riding a white horse form, riding a black horse form. King Laguin in the original book, currently only present in the game, in manga and animation, has not yet appeared. Even Mulin who came from across time, for the special ability of King Lagwan, also only through games, and some textual introductions to understand. As for the real King Laguin, to what extent is the strength reached? Still quite interested, just as the two were walking slowly in this snowy field, a roar came from ahead, a long-haired troll reaching a height of 30 meters, in front of the two, question mark Pokemon, long-haired troll, extreme giant form, gender, male, question mark attribute, evil, fairy, question mark ability, mischievous heart, when using changing skills, there is a speed bonus, question mark level, 49, gym peak, potential, gym peak, question mark skills, enhanced punch, bite, bulk up, assurance, sucker punch, dark pulse, foul play, arm hammer, question mark contest condition, normal, remarks, it will use the powerful drill kick by deforming the body hair of the legs, and the power can even drill a big hole in the ground of gala, question mark, Raw Tilda, tall hairy troll, for the two Mulin who invaded his territory, there was a roar, looking at the long-haired troll roaring in front of him, Mulin was not a little nervous, instead, he said relaxedly to Cynthia beside him, 
Gal region's extremely large size has its own characteristics. I'll also get a super wristband in the future, and let the big guys try dynamization. See how big he can get? Cynthia also smiled lightly. Responding to Mulin, I think if the big man becomes extremely giant, it is estimated to reach 150 meters. To Solata on's chat, it made the hairy troll very unhappy. How? Huh? Treat me like hair, then eat me. The hairy troll held out his hand. They shot towards Mulin. Facing the giant palm, Mulan threw a baby ball. After the red light, Lucario appears. Luca Tilda. Lucario didn't need Mulan to say much. Dot dot ask for flowers. Clenched his fist lightly. The surrounding snow was immediately washed away by the power of the wave guard. Then simply step on it. Immediately flee out. A punch hit the long-haired troll's hand. Boom. A long-haired troll as tall as 30 meters. He was easily killed by Lucario who was more than 10 times younger than him. Quickly minimize the body and return to normal form. Extremely gigantic, it's just that size, it can scare people who don't understand. Cynthia is not very gigantic. Let's go. Let's go find Zapdos. After speaking, he took Mew's hand. I want to continue to go deep into the crown snowfield. But Mulin didn't intend to move forward. No, Zapdos you were looking for. Coming. Mulin looked into the distance. Soon, there was a burst of sharp, piercing hooves. An orange-black free-range chicken. They ran towards Mulin. Question mark Pokemon, Zapdos, Galiform, Gender, Male. Question mark Attribute, Fighting, Flying. Question mark Ability, Don't admit defeat. When the ability is reduced, the attack power will increase significantly. Question mark Level, 60, Elementary Champion. Potential, Champion Peak. Question mark Skills, Thunder Wave, Beck, Agility, Drill Beck, Discharge, Thunder, Zap Cannon. Question mark Contest Condition, Warlike. Remarks, he is a fighting Pokemon, and once he finds a Pokemon that looks stronger than himself, he seems to have to challenge him. Question mark. When Cynthia saw the Zapdos of this free-range chicken, he looked at Mulin suspiciously. This dot 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 is this Zapdos? Why does it look like dot you oh? He dot 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 is he really a legend? 158 Cynthia, I want to be the number one in the world as my diary. Gal regional variants Zapdos like dot you oh, don't say it. It really is. If you have one more head, I guess it's really hard to tell. For Cynthia's complaints, Mulin chuckled. He is indeed Zapdos. It's just a variant. Affirmed by Mulin. Cynthia reluctantly accepted it. Zapdos turned into a wild chicken. Look at Zapdos's seemingly shriveled wings. He asked uncertainly. Then can he fly? Mulin smiled and said, flying can still fly. After all, it's called Zapdos, isn't it? It's just that my thighs are more developed and I like to run. Oh, Cynthia patted her chest. And Xin said, it's okay if you can fly. Mulin joked, it's a legend anyway, I can still fly. Ah of course. Zero zero zero. There are exceptions. Okay, then I'll leave it to you. Mulin took a step back. Give Cynthia enough room to fight. At the same time, Lucario also loyally guarded him. For something like Zapdos, Mulin has no intention of subduing it. Judging by his current hand, except Lucario. It's his Earl Dervish Pokemon. Relatively common are the Darkrai, Little Lugia. Giant Dragonite, or its humans, or have high level blood, or special circumstances. Plus, there's the Light Stone that can summon Reshiram. Endorsed by Rayquaza, Zapdos, it really couldn't get into his eyes. After all, the vision is high, naturally looked down upon. But for ordinary people, even Zapdos is the lowest of legends. It is still very captivating. Give it to me. Garchomp, come out. Cynthia threw the baby ball excitedly. Release the trump guard, Garchomp. Chirp tilde. Zapdos stared at Garchomp, raised its belligerent hooves. For subduing Zapdos, Cynthia pulled herself together. Press the Meg Ring in your hand. Garchomp, Mega Evolution. Raw tilde. Garchomp's momentum rose rapidly. Quickly entered the Mega Evolution form. Meanwhile, Zapdos eyes also became dignified. Garchomp, double chop. The mighty Mega Garchomp wields the Death Scythe. Two sharp streaks cut through the air and attacked Zapdos. Chirp tilde, thunder light accumulated in Zapdos mouth, turned into a wave of fierce counter-attack. Although Zapdos in Gala form, attribute is a combination of fighting and flying. But he was originally friendly to electric energy. It can easily condense electric skills. Boom tilde. The two energies collide. Collided fiercely in midair. At the same time, Cynthia's voice came again. Garchomp. Dragon Claw. Raw Tilda. Mega Garchomp is like a jet. Burst out. A Dragon Claw was printed. Chirp Tilda. Not to be outdone. Zapdos have long, pointed beaks. Made a trick drill back. To respond to the attack. Bang Tilda. The two Pokemon collided and retreated. Garchomp who is good at melee. After Mega Evolution. It also only holds a slight upper hand. The strength is not bad. After all, a warlike Pokemon is not too weak. Mulin raised his eyebrows for the ability to manipulate lightning. There is no change in shape to weaken it. It also greatly enhanced the ability of melee combat. In a sense, maybe this free-range chicken. It is better than the fried feather bird in the Kanto region. Even stronger. However, at the same level, it is still worse. Only the champion level. The probability of Garchomp winning is much higher. Just when Mulin was thinking. The battle situation is constantly changing. Cynthia, Garchomp, 
Sand Tomb traps the opponent's section. Raw Tilda, with a blessing of Mega Evolution, Garchomp's apparent manipulation of energy. There has been a qualitative improvement. Sand transformed from Grand Energy. Quickly wrapped Zapdos. It's now. Garchomp, use Slash. Raw Tilda, Mega Garchomp, under the command of Cynthia. Attack quickly. Tough Zapdos in his best melee style. Two Pokemon, constantly causing damage to the opponent. Time passed by every minute and every second. A battle between two Pokemon. It's been a full ten minutes. Mega Garchomp's body. There are several scars from beak attacks. Zapdos is even worse. Several orange-red feathers were scattered on the ground. But in general, it was Cynthia's Garchomp who prevailed. Chirp Tilda. Zapdos lightning covered the body. The momentum is constantly rising. Strong and powerful lower limbs. Huge acceleration erupted. Charged towards Garchomp. At the same time, Cynthia also commanded. Garchomp. Use Dragon Rush. Raw Tilda. Mega Garchomp exudes a terrifying murderous aura. Waving the twin scythes in his hands. Bang Tilda. Two Pokemon use their own powerful skills. Collide together. Finally, it was Garchomp who had the upper hand. Garchomp has worked hard on you. Cynthia patted Garchomp. Then he took out the pre-prepared baby ball. Go towards Zapdos Fling, who is lying unconscious on the ground. Ding Tilda. J0.5. Ding Tilda. A little shake and Zapdos is subdued. Yay Tilda. Cynthia picked up the baby ball containing Zapdos from the ground. Excitedly jumped on Mulin's body. Ouch. Mulin quickly reached out and hugged her. Cynthia was waving the baby ball while shouting excitedly. From now on, I will also be a person with legends. With Zapdos, this time a championship ranking match. I want to be number one and then I'll marry you. Take the title of the world's number one trainer as a dowry. Mulin hugged the little girl in his arms with a smile. Then if I marry you, won't I become Mr. One? 159 Cynthia's pressure, two organizations at the same time. Since Mulin left Celestic Laboratory, start traveling around. Cynthia is very stressful, each time respectively. Mulin's Pokemon became stronger and stronger. Gradually, Mulin became more and more unsurpassable. Later, it was recognized by Super Legends one after another. Although Cynthia doesn't say, but she was very strong in her heart. Want to follow in Mulin's footsteps. So, he kept holding his breath. Finally, she tamed the first legend, Zapdos. Just the lowest level of legend. But at any rate, it is also a legend. Just cultivate it well. There is still a lot of room for improvement. It can also be a powerful force. Not long after I came to Crown Snowfield, I met Zapdos, and successfully subdued. Baby Mulin, you are my lucky star. Excited Cynthia, kissed 26 Mulin hard. Cynthia is happy, and Mulin is also in a good mood. Then do you want to reward me Mulin teased? No problem. Cynthia waved her hand proudly. But soon. Then he continued. But you can't be like before. It takes so much, and it takes so long. I have to cheer up and drain the Zapdos I just tamed. Hey, Mulin sighed. Women can't say no. The words are not finished yet. Cynthia immediately blocked Mulin's mouth with her hand. When Mulin and Cynthia conquered Zapdos in the Crown Snowfield, the world is also constantly moving forward. Carlos region. Team Flare's secret headquarters base. A cocoon of destruction that exudes a faint black hair. Placed in the laboratory. Around. Full of various sophisticated machines. Lissandra licked his parched lips. He said to the researchers around him. Start the control plan. Yes. The researcher promised and quickly started the machine. Soon. The surrounding machines emitted various lights. Shines on the cocoon of destruction. The cocoon of destruction, trembling soon. Che Tilda, little beaten into a hairless bird, was forced to wake up. Just him now. There is no trace of the power of the god of destruction at all. I also lost the ability to vent my anger. Destroyed by Rayquaza and Reshiram. Almost half his life was gone. Now he is even a champion Pokemon. You can easily knock him down. It is good. Lysandra saw that Yutl couldn't struggle. His eyes were full of fanaticism. Ordered. Keep planning. Think of Yutl as a bootstrap. Following Lysandra's orders, more and more machines started to fire. Pekla watched silently from the side. Yutl who kept screaming. There is some unbearable in the eyes. Carlos region's Team Flare is operating undercover. Team Galactic from Sinar region. Actions are also going on quietly. Team Galactic's executive Mars, Suik Singh, and Zen Crossing, with hundreds of Team Galactic players, surrounds the Celestic Laboratory. Each Team Galactic player controls a Krabat. Kazilin Professor Glared at Team Galactic's three executives. Team Galactic. You guys are so brave. How dare you attack the Celestic Laboratory. Zen Xing of Team Galactic took a step forward and said, Kazilin Professor, our organization has always disliked fighting. As long as you hand over the two orbs, we will leave immediately. Mustard Professor scolded. The two orbs are the key items for studying the history of Sinar region. If you want to get them, don't even think about it. Humphrey, Zen Xing snorted coldly, threatened. Your granddaughter and Mulin are now in the Gala region. I can't make it back at all. And, around the laboratory, we have already set up the signal jammer. People from the Alliance don't even know what's going on here. The strength of your guards cannot stop us. Although our organization does not like to fight, it is necessary when necessary. We don't mind the use of force. A word about Zen Crossing. Mustard Land's face was ashen. Know that the other party is right. Before Team Galactic hits, she has already tried contacting Alliance. 
but there is no signal at all, and Celestic Laboratory, although there are quite a few guards, just those guards, 103 compared with the premeditated Team Galactic, not a scale at all, see Gale and don't speak, the patience in Zhang Xing's eyes was exhausted, he opened the mouth and said, Mustard Professor, you won't give it, then we have to do it ourselves, Zhang Xing waved his hand, the players of Team Galactic command their respective crobats one after another, attack, the scene became chaotic for a while, under the huge difference in the number of people, guards at the Celestic Laboratory, soon it was subdued, take advantage of the chaos, a member of Team Galactic, unscrupulously rummage in the laboratory, soon, a Team Galactic minion, holding two fluorescent white orbs, respectfully hand it over to Zen Crossing, very good, Zen Xing took it unhurriedly, put it in a special chest, the backhand waved again, retreat, everyone, Team Galactic, get on the flying machine immediately, leave quickly, 160 the time and space twin gods whose consciousness has been annihilated, Sinar region, Celestic laboratory, after being attacked by Team Galactic, the Sin Alliance sent the Elite Four, and numerous investigators, stationed here, investigators, with their own Pokemon, patrol around the Celestic laboratory, just in case Team Galactic strikes again, at this time, a yellow figure appeared in the distance soaring in the sky, accompanied by the appearance of this figure, Pokemon for investigators, immediately as if facing the enemy, a tilde, tilde, all the might Ina grinned in unison, sound the warning, this commotion immediately attracted attention, the elite four stationed here, with a large number of investigators, emanating from inside the laboratory, Lucian, one of the Sinar elite four, uncanny opening, this dot 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 is this dragonite, also dot 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 it's too big, the rest of the people also got closer with the distance, the figure of the huge dragonite can be seen clearly, be careful, it could be someone from team galactic, fire element elite day explained, quickly unleashed his magmortar, just when everyone thought it was team galactic attacking again, kale professor came out from inside the laboratory, he said, it's okay, this Dragonite is Mulin's Pokemon, Mulin and Cynthia are back, with a reminder of Gale, only then did everyone see clearly, Mulin and Cynthia riding a giant Dragonite, alert lifted, only then did Elite 4 breathe a sigh of relief, bang tilde, a giant Dragonite as high as 30 meters, when falling from the sky to the ground, there was a sound of something heavy falling to the ground, even if you know it's your own, the terrifying size of the huge Dragonite, including powerful momentum, let the surrounding investigators feel terrified, even the Sinar Elite 4, not sure where to go, two people, Mulin and Cynthia, quickly fell from the huge Dragonite, the two hurried to the front of Mustard Lan, asked together, Grandma, are you okay? Grandma, how are you doing? Kale patted Cynthia's hand, kindly comforting the two of them, I'm fine, sorry Grandma, we're late, Mulin said with some self-reproach, for Kale. Mulan has deep feelings, Kale is great for him, what to eat and drink, when I was young, think of him first, better than treating his own granddaughter Cynthia, silly boy, I told you I'm fine, Mustard Land patted Mulan's shoulder kindly, it was confirmed that Kale was in good health, Mulan looked at the still messy laboratry, asked, Team Galactic's sucker punch laboratory this time should be for those two orbs, Mustard Land Professor stopped laughing, he nodded heavily, that's right, those two orbs were taken away by them, two orbs in the mouth of Gale, they are lustrous orb and adamant orb respectively, these two orbs, able to summon Palkia and Dialga, Cyrus who wants to create a new world, still in accordance with the established goal, it moved, heard, Cynthia next to Mulin immediately said, gather everyone, go to the spear pillar on Mount Coronet, understood, Cynthia didn't understand as deeply as Mulin, but knowing that Mulin did this, there must be a reason, immediately turn around and arrange, as Mulin knows, the top of Mount Coronet, spear pillar, the members of Team Galactic are all gathered here, Cyrus holding two orbs of Vajra and White Jade, an unknown machine is being manipulated, in the machine, two red rays of light shot out, exposed to red light, the two orbs emitted different halos, sky at spear pillar, two different dimensional black holes suddenly appeared, in the black hole, there was a huge roar continuously, two giant beasts with a height of nearly 50 meters, probe out of the black hole, at the same time, huge power and influence, swept across the spear pillar, dot ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha, meet the coveted god of time and space, the usually calm Cyrus laughed wildly, my ideal world, I covet world without battles, it's about to open, Palkia, Dialga, build a whole new world for me, crazed Cyrus, pressed a button in his hand, in the void, three red chains appeared, two of the chains, winding towards Dialga and Palkia respectively, raw tilde, raw tilde, the twin gods of time and space feel the strange red chain, each used their own, Wang Zhao, skill bombardment, but the weird red chain seems to be invisible, ignore the attacks of the time and space gods, wrapped directly around them, once wrapped, the consciousness of the space time gods seems to be lock on, it's useless, you can't break free, that is the highest technology that can wipe out the consciousness of god, you can only surrender to me, create new world for me, the members of team galactic, seeing covets still go, close at hand, they are all cheering teams, but they don't know what's waiting for them, not what they want, 161 Rayquaza, face the Sinatrio, exclamation mark.
Rotilda, Rotilda, no matter how Dialga and Peculiar struggle, they couldn't break free from the red chain wrapped around themselves, and the more struggle, the tighter the bondage. Other than that, there is also a strange ability in red chain. It seems to be able to suppress their original will, let their bodies, out of conscious control, surrender to me. Struggle is just a waste of time. Cyrus laughing wildly, the source of the red chain is wrapped around his hand, over time, control gradually deepened. The twin gods of time and space, the eyes are empty and no longer have the agility of the past, like a puppet normal, ha ha ha, finally still under my control, holding red chain in hand, Cyrus, who controls the twin gods of time and space, laughed wildly, as if at this moment, he has mastered everything, at this time, a black hole appeared again in the void, in the black hole, it's pitch black, even the light, can't penetrate the blackness in it, it seems that the matter in the black hole is 783, able to swallow light as well, one is covered in black hair, a Pokemon that looks somewhat like a centipede, emerge from the black hole, it is Gyratina who is in charge of antimatter, three Pokemon, Palkia, Dialga, and Gyratina, Pokemon created by the creator god Arceus, Palkia rules space, Dialga is in charge of time, Gyratina rules the antimatter that stabilizes space and time, Gyratina originally lived in antimatter space, feeling that the breath of the time and space gods is unstable, then from antimatter space, come to the present world to find out, at this time Gyratina found out, there are many red chains wrapped around the space time gods, seem, their will is suppressed, Rotilda, Gyratina, created together with the creator god Arceus, he knows the ability of the time and space gods, it seems that the red chain in the human hand, not vulgar, Cyrus looked at Gyratina frantically, ha 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 ha, Gyratina, sure enough, according to, Kta, according to the myths and legends, as long as you control the two gods of time and space, it will attract Gyratina who controls antimatter, Gyratina, you are an integral part of my plan, come on, surrender to me together, the red chain flicked from Cyrus hands, immediately, Red Chain flew towards Gyratina, Rotilda, Gyratina dare not be careless about the Red Chain who can control the twin gods of time and space, roared, the huge body turned into a ball of haze, avoid the entanglement of Red Chain, dissipated haze, condensed again, recombine into Gyratina, Cyrus finds Red Chain back, without success, there was no expression of frustration, there is only a sinister smile on the face, Palkia, use spatial rend, Dialga, Roar of time, the orange orb on Palkia's right shoulder kept shining, mechanically swung a space cutting slash, Dialga shot out a pure white beam of energy, forcibly changed the flow rate of time, facing the combination of the two gods of time and space, Gyratina can only choose to avoid its edge, on me, surrender to me, Gyratina, this is the only way you can go, Cyrus, who controls the twin gods of time and space, already have Gyratina in the bag, respect each other, surrender to each other, Gyratina dismissed Cyrus' words. The three gods of Sinnoh have only one allegiance, that is the creator god Arceus, by some despicable means. Do you think you have the ability to control god? Wishful thinking. Rotilda, Gyratina let out a hyper voice growl, it was windy. Haze is too strong to melt away. Keep spreading around, soaring in the sky around the entire spear pillar without any light. The sky and the earth are filled with endless black magic energy. Suddenly, countless terrifying phantoms appeared. This is Gyratina's exclusive skill. Shadow Force. Stubborn stuff. 17. Go ahead and resist. After the resistance, you will know that everything is in vain. Cyrus, who controlled the twin gods of time and space, didn't panic at all. Pull the red chain in your hand. Controlling the twin gods of time and space, shouted to countless terrifying phantoms. Dialga. Roar of time breaks his attack. The dull Dialga. Exclusive skill Roar of time was used, breaking through the dark shadows in the sky. Withstood Gyratina's offensive. Palkia. Attack with spatial rend. The orange yellow gem on Palkia's right shoulder shines. With a wave of his hand, it was a crack that broke through the space. Take the Gyratina for two. Dodge is not in time. Spatial rend. Cut directly between his waist and abdomen. Huge punch. Smack a Gyratina straight down the ground. Resist Palkia's attack hard. Made Gyratina his in pain. Majestic haze. Dissipates quickly. I said long ago that there is no point in resisting. You can't fight me who controls Dialga and Palkia. You can only surrender to me. Cyrus finished, taking the opportunity to throw the red chain at the down Gyratina. Red chain once touched, quickly wrapped around Gyratina's body. Gyratina's will, immediately overwhelmed by the weird red chain. Rotilda, Gyratina kept neighing, trying to break free. Blood red eyes, under the siege of red chain, there is no more light. Soon, the three gods of Sin were all controlled by Cyrus. Meanwhile, Mulin from Celestic Town, come with Cynthia and a group of Sinnoh elites, see that Cyrus has taken control of the three gods of Sinnoh, quickly took out the colorful stone, the three divine powers were poured into it, Rayquaza, come to me, the Hoenn region is above the height of 10,000 meters, Rayquaza hovering above the ozone layer, I felt the calling of Mulin, with a swing of the 100 meter body, he quickly advanced, in the next moment, face Rayquaza face to face with Sinnoh three gods, 162 Rayquaza, Emperor of the Nine Heavens, come, exclamation mark.
time, space, antimatter, although the three gods of sin are dumb. But the aura exuded by the beast covers the entirety of Mount Coronet, facing the three gods gathered together. An overwhelming momentum. Pokemon for sin are elites. All suppressed. Drapian by bug type elite Aaron. The claws on the head hang down feebly. Ground is elite Bertha's Rhyperia. The eyes are no longer thick and sharp as before. The fire type elite Big Leaf Stuck Bill Flame Beast. The flames burning on his body look dim. Bronzong of elite Lucian. The runes shone with light as if extinguished. Even Cynthia is most dependent. Known as the quasi-god Garchomp, I can barely raise my head. Because what they are facing is the true god. Moreover, there are less than three. Although the Sinnoh elites don't understand why Cyrus can summon and control the three gods of Sinnoh. But at this time these, it's not important anymore. Dot. What should I do now? Cynthia looked at Mulin for help. Fine. Mulin gave her a confident smile, reassuring her. I have already called Rayquaza just now. Rayquaza is expected to arrive soon. Stand back a little and leave it to me to handle it, facing the three true gods. Mulin is fearless in the face of danger, especially that confident smile. It made Cynthia feel at ease. At the same time Cynthia understood. Only God can fight against God. This battlefield. Only Mulin can handle it. You must be careful. Cynthia explained. He took the Sinot leaps with him. Step back. Wait for Cynthia and others to retreat to a safe distance. Mulin looked away. It was placed on the three gods of Sin with a blank expression. Question mark Pokemon. Dialga. Question mark Attribute. Steel. Dragon. Question mark Ability. Sense of oppression. Under the force of strong oppression. Rival condenses energy and attacks speed is affected. Level. 89. Level 2 God Peak. Question mark Skills. Metal Claw. Dragon Breath. Flash Cannon. Power Gem. Earth Power. Iron Tail. Exclusive skill. Roar of time. Question mark. Contest condition. Controlled. Constrained by the red chain. Self-will is oppressed. Remarks. With the power to manipulate time. By manipulating the flow of time by oneself. One can move to the past and future. Question mark. Pokemon. Palkia. Question mark. Attribute. Water. Dragon. Question mark. Ability. Sense of oppression. Under the force of strong oppression. Rival condenses energy crystals and the speed of attack is affected. Level. 89. Level 2 God Peak, question mark skills, water pulse, ancient power, slash, aqua ring, power gem, aqua tail, earth power, hydro pump, exclusive skill, spatial rend, question mark. Contest condition, controlled, constrained by the red chain, self will is oppressed, remarks, possess the ability to distort space, and it is said that they live in space slits arranged in parallel, question mark. Pokemon, gyratina, question mark attribute, ghost, dragon, question mark ability sense of oppression, under the force of strong oppression, rival condenses energy and attacks speed is affected, level, 89, level 2 god peak, question mark skills, shadow sneak, hex, shadow claw, dragon claw, earth power, dragon breath, exclusive skill, shadow force, question mark, contest condition, controlled, constrained by the red chain, self will is oppressed, remarks, possesses the ability to control antimatter, was expelled because of his rough personality, and has been living in distortion world, question mark, when Mulin et al. appeared, Cyrus had already noticed him. Control Cyrus. The trio of Sinnoh gods. It felt like the whole world was under his feet. To Mulin standing alone at the front. He opened the mouth and said, Mulin Professor. Speaking of which, my plan went so smoothly. Thanks to you. The corners of Mulin's mouth rose slightly, showing a warm smile. Really? He he. Cyrus also smiled slightly. It's just that his eyes are full of complacency, pride, and sure victory. He sneered and said, if it wasn't for you to decipher those ancient texts, neither can I get it from those cryptic documents. Find a way to awaken and control the three gods. To thank you, I decided to send you to die. After finishing speaking, he waved his red chain. Ordered, Dialga, use Roar of Time. Roar Tilda, the numb Dialga accumulated terrifying energy in his mouth. A stream of pure white energy that affects the flow of time is shot out. Humphrey, Mulin snorted coldly and took out the light stone. The three divine powers gather towards it. A milky white halo, holy white dragon Reshiram, appear on the battlefield. In response to the incoming roar of time, Mulin shouted, Bay I long, overclocking mode. Fight back with fusion flare. Roar Tilda, Reshiram's melodious dragon cry, resounding throughout Mount Coronet, like the tail of an airplane engine. Fast, frantic buildup of energy, like the heavenly fire of divine punishment. Descend. Two strands of pure energy interweave and collide together. It caused a huge explosion. Yen T T. Countless people present, even with your ears covered. It also cannot prevent the penetration of a huge explosion. After one blow, Cyrus looked at the holy Reshiram with a dark look. It is undeniable that Reshiram is very strong, but only one Reshiram. It is impossible to stop me who has controlled the three gods of Sinnoh. Dialga, Roar of Time, Palkia, Spatial Rend, Gyratina, Shadow Force. Cyrus yelled. Go and attack him. Crush him. Raw Tilda. Raw Tilda. Raw Tilda. The three gods of Sinnoh shouted raw respectively. 
The respective attacks were then used separately. Spatial Ren for cutting space. Roar of time that warps time. The shadow force that absorbs everything. Three terrifying attacks. Swing out from three directions respectively. Then jointly bombard a point. A joint attack by the three gods of Sinnoh. Indeed powerful. Mulan who has the power of three gods. For the first time, I felt the meaning of danger. But in his heart, he was not worried at all. Gao shouted, Bei I Long. Use protect. Raw Tilda. Reshiram's melodious dragon cry resounded through Mount Coronet. The engine at the rear switches quickly. Surging energy overflows from outside the body. A milky white energy shield is formed. Boom Tilda. The powerful attack of the three gods of Sinnoh. All of them bombarded the milky white energy shield. Powerful impact. Directly place around Mulin and Reshiram. A deep pit of hundreds of meters was pressed out. Space around. As if unable to withstand the bombardment of terrifying energy. And broken. A black hole was revealed. Raw Tilda. Reshiram looked a little tired. A lot of energy was used. Only then protected the attack of the three gods of Sinnoh. For the weary Reshiram. Mulin did not use the three divine powers to help him recover. Instead, he said softly. Reshiram. Thank you for your hard work. Come back. Reshiram heard. Silently transformed into a white light stone. It fell back into Mulin's hands. The reason why Mulin did that. That is because. There was a surge from above the sky. Look down on the world's dragon prestige. That is from above the nine heavens. Emperor Rayquaza, who is honored as lord of soaring in the sky. Come. 163 This is Rayquaza, a first level god. Exclamation mark. North of Mount Coronet, about five kilometers away, a man with a cropped cut and a black suit, followed by two younger brothers, watching from afar. The battlefield is on the verge of breaking out. The cropped man is Giovanni of the Rockets. The two younger brothers behind him. They are Maxi and Archie respectively. Giovanni murmured with anticipation in his eyes. It's been so long since the layout. This battle is finally about to begin. Maxi is a bit impatient. He said, Boss. Can Rayquaza really defeat the Sinnoh Three Gods? Maxi had seen it with her own eyes. Groudon and Kyogre are the same level as the Sinnoh Three Gods, defeated by the mighty Rayquaza. Now the Three Gods of Sinnoh, the number is one more. But is 953 capable of defeating Rayquaza? Giovanni said lightly, I don't know, that's the power of legends. You have to experience it to know the outcome. However, I think Amulin and Rayquaza have a better chance of winning. Maxi looked a little dark when she heard that. Follow the days of Giovanni. He clearly realized that Giovanni's structure and insights were above his. Also know the gap between himself and Giovanni. The estimated result is similar to what Giovanni said. Archie interjected, if you can't beat that Mulin, then the goal we expect is just a castle in the air. Giovanni turned his back to the two, and said softly, the reason why I help Cyrus, help Lysandra. I just wanted to take this opportunity. Look where the limits of Mulin and Rayquaza are. The Sinotrio were not expected to beat Rayquaza. You have to understand one thing. What do you want to achieve? What do you want to achieve? It doesn't depend on external force. What you rely on must be yourself. Giovanni's tone was light, but the words are full of confidence. Show the aura of the superior. Yes, subordinates understand. Both Maxi and Archie responded. Look back to the battle. Cyrus' face was very ugly. For Mulin got the Rayquaza heritage. He already knew. Mulin was also expected. It will summon Lee Kongwa to fight. But he never expected. Mulin didn't even think about it. He took Rishiram back. Somewhat looked down upon the three gods of Sinnoh. Cyrus said. It seems that you have great confidence in your Rayquaza. Mulin ignored Cyrus' words. Just waved to Rayquaza. Raw Tilda. Rayquaza understood, and actively supported his lower body. Mulin lightly jumped onto Rayquaza's body. At the same time three divine powers infused into Rayquaza's body. Three divine powers, igniting the surging energy of Rayquaza. Feel the Pokemon that merges with you. Mulin's eyes were fixed, and his fighting spirit was ignited. Rayquaza, Mega Evolution. Raw Tilda. The high-pitched dragon chant filled Mount Coronet all day long. Body shape changes rapidly. The delta symbol shines. Endless turbulence surged. Bright golden ribbons fluttered in the wind. Powerful dragon god oppression spread round. Mega Rayquaza has an unparalleled aura. It overwhelmed the Sinnoh three gods in one fell swoop. This is telling Cyrus with action how confident Mulin is. Use Reshiram, combined with Rayquaza. It can indeed be gathered into a stronger combat force. But Mulin is not willing. Because of Rayquaza. It is the lord of soaring in the sky. The supreme myth. He has his own dignity. Never allow it. Others meddle in his battle. And, in the dark, Mulin has a feeling. Seems like a battle against the three gods of Sinnoh. It is an opportunity. One that gets him and Rayquaza. An opportunity for change. Cyrus is ideal for forming Team Galactic. It's about building a whole new world. And the three gods of Sinnoh holds the authority to establish a new century. Take control of the Sinnoh trio. He will be able to build the new world he is looking forward to. But the problem is, Mulin will not let him act. So, he must defeat Mulin in front of him. That's where things go. Cyrus knew between him and Mulin. There is simply no way to reconcile. That being the case, then choose to fight. Cyrus waved his hand. Twist the red chain. Make the controlled Sinot triad move. Dialga. Roar of time. Paul Kier. Spatial rend. Gyratina. Shadow force. As soon as he came up, 
Yuan Richo's the most deceitful attack. Raw Tilda, Raw Tilda, Raw Tilda. The three gods of Sinar launched their own exclusive attacks respectively. Mulin's command, not polite either. Also let Rayquaza use exclusive skills. Rayquaza, Dragon Ascent, Raw Tilda. The Rayquaza Delta symbol shines brightly. Endless turbulence surged. Cover the body. For Mayor Armor, Baimi swung his body. There was a sudden burst of huge acceleration. A roar of time that warps time. Cannot affect Mega Rayquaza at all. The flexible body of Mega Rayquaza. It easily bypassed Dialga's attack. Spatial Rend that cuts the 5.0 space. Can't keep up with Rayquaza's speed at all. Turned into a shadow force full of shadows in the sky. It was broken open even more forcefully. Mega Rayquaza, like a shining spear, separately cut open the attack of the three gods of Sinnoh. Bombarded straight towards Gyratina. Boom. Huge punch. Blast Gyratina straight into the air. Spear pillars ground. Add another 100 meter giant pit. Just one move. The power created. It is like in our three gods teaming up, heights to reach. This is Rayquaza as a first level god, 164 black, the strongest form of Rayquaza! Exclamation mark. Rayquaza in normal form. The strength is not very prominent. But once Mega Evolution, it is incomparably powerful. It's like turning into another species. After Mega Evolution, match with the finishing touch Rayquaza, that can only be described in one word. That is strong, invincible. One that can stabilize the Mega Rayquaza. Only the god of creation, Arsuis who has the complete tablet, other top beasts, for example, the infinity that represents extreme gigantism, Necrozma with prismatic armor, the guardian of order, Zygarde in Gundam form, they also reach the same tier as Rayquaza, it's just that if there is a real fight, it's not the same who wins and who loses, damn it, Cyrus watched as Gyratina rose slowly from the pit, his face was very ugly, Gyratina was previously restricted for use with Red Chain, he has made Dialga and Palkia, bombarded him around, then, go through Mega's Dragon Ascent again, the injury is getting worse, 26 armor on the body, most are broken, the black air condensed on the body, it also gradually faded away, Cyrus, back to the three gods who are not sleepy, Gyratina cannot be treated, go on like this, Mulan beat him, it's just a matter of time, after many hardships, even betrayed the foundation laid by the entire team galactic over the years, only under help of the rockets, get the red chain that can restrain the three gods of Sinnoh, seeing the great ideal is in front of you, but stuck at the last step, he is not reconciled, Mulan, you made me, Cyrus said through gritted teeth, after finishing speaking, he took out a strange medicine bottle, the vials contain some strange green liquid. Unscrew the cap from the vial. Pour into the red chain in his hand. The green liquid passes through the red chain. Quickly injected into the body of the three gods of Sinnoh. Suddenly, Raw Tilda, Raw Tilda, Raw Tilda. Sinnoh is the ultimate unity of the three gods. Let out a terrifying roar. At the same time, momentum is also rising. Those original wills were suppressed. The numb eyes turned blood red. And brought boundless rage. See the Sinnoh trio. Mulin found the Sinnoh three gods contest condition column has turned into a violent contest condition, exactly the same as the little I met before, good at controlling genes, and can make Pokemon go berserk, only Team Rocket, I didn't expect you to join forces with the Rockets, if I'm not mistaken, the thing that you control the three gods of Sinnoh is also made by the Rockets for you, the Rockets go out of their way to help you, you should have paid a lot, Mulan reasoned with a cold face, Humphrey, Cyrus snorted coldly, there is nothing to miss in this decayed world, as long as it can create a new world without fighting, so what if you give everything, now that Mulin has already guessed, and it's gotten to this point, there was no need for Cyrus to hide either, Cyrus words confirmed Mulin's thoughts, this can't help but make Mulin, I sighed in my heart, Giovanni, your ambition is really big, it is estimated that Team Flare in the Carlos region has also reached some kind of deal with the Rockets, Cyrus looked at Mulin's pensive look, thought that Mulin was under the oppression of the violent Sinnoh three gods, with the intention of retreating, Cyrus, who was originally unwilling to have a direct conflict with Mulin, the view shakes Mulin, you must have felt the difference between the three gods of Sinnoh, if you leave now, the matter between you and me is over, Mulin withdrew all conjectures about Giovanni, he smiled softly, is this the end? Do you think such power can threaten me? Not enough. If Mulin said it in an angry way, maybe Cyrus didn't have any mood swings yet. But Mulin always looks calm and composed. And that casual contempt in speech. Totally pissed off sensitive Cyrus. Shame on Cyrus. Since that's the case, there's no need to talk nonsense. Cyrus pulled the red chain in his hand. The three gods of Sinnoh bound. A violent roar suddenly came out. Mulin chuckled softly. Cyrus. Didn't you say you wanted to thank me at first? Decipher those ancient texts? Actually, I want to thank you too, because it's you who made me understand how to use that power. Flames flickered in Mulin's eyes. To thank you, I'll let you see what real power is. In Carlos region, touch the source of mega evolution. The huge power hidden in his body. With contact with Rayquaza, Mulin found out. That power began to circulate. What's the meaning? Instinctively, 
because of the day from the sleepy body. I felt an extremely dangerous feeling at 480. Mulin ignored Cyrus. It's the power that keeps running the body. Move to Rayquaza. Rawtilda. Rayquaza shouted excitedly. At this very moment he was. Received energy that fits extremely well with him. This energy. Let his body change. The light shone brightly. The delta symbol is printed in the air. The turbulent flow is violent. And the blue light is shining. Mega Rayquaza's momentum keeps rising. The incredible contest condition has been reached. Rayquaza, which was originally based on turquoise, gradually fade away. Become the black representing the supreme majesty. Sharp thin spines. Get scarier and sharper. Bright golden ribbon. It is constantly surging in the turbulent flow. When Rayquaza is completely transformed, printed on the air delta symbol, returning to Meg Rayquaza's 100 meter body, the violent turbulence haunts the entire battlefield. Black flash Meg Rayquaza appears. Rayquaza's strongest form. 165 the strongest Rayquaza. Use the strongest skills. Sinal ground is birth with elite. Unbelievably looking at the mighty Rayquaza in the distance. Mouth wide. This dot 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 is this Rayquaza? Question mark. Miss Cynthia, what's going on? The remaining three are elite. They all look incredible. All looked at Cynthia in doubt. Playing against Mega Evolution. It's not like they haven't seen the shape change. But this, changes its own color. It's the first time I've seen you. Moreover, after Rayquaza transformed into black. The strength and aura have increased exponentially. This. This is indeed Rayquaza. As for why it changed into what it is now, I do not know either. Cynthia's surprised, not less than others. She couldn't figure it out either. Why has Rayquaza changed so much? At this time, completed transformation of Meg Rayquaza. There was a dragon chant that resounded through the heavens and the earth. Cynthia murmured in a low voice. The final decisive battle is about to be launched. Sinalit and others, all turned their eyes. Focus on Meg Rayquaza. Rayquaza that merges with itself. Transform into Black Flash. Mulin's heart was surging. Black Rayquaza. In the theatrical release, it is simply a bug-like existence. Think here. Mulin can't wait to try Rayquaza's variation. Opening voice. Rayquaza. Dragon Tail. Raw Tilda. Rayquaza, who is equally excited, let out a surging dragon chant. Energy boom. The body speeds up suddenly. Quick. The speed has reached the limit. In a blink of an eye, he flashed in front of Gyratina. The 100 meter body is slightly curled, surrounded by one Jun Thunder, slapped on Gyratina's body. Boom Tilda. Gyratina just emerging from the pit, whipped back again by Rayquaza. Damaged Gyratina in quick succession, even as a legend. Has a strong physique, available in front of Black Mega Rayquaza. Just a brother. Raw Tilda. Carrot. Defeat Gyratina, the arrogant Rayquaza, in one fell swoop. It is even higher in the air. Let's vent his tyranny, riding the Gyratina. Even after going berserk. Can it only reach this level? Cyrus stared blankly at the fallen Gyratina. My heart is full of bitterness. He originally controlled the three gods of Sinnoh. It was like seeing the door to a new world has been opened. Just skip this step. Then he can enter the new world he dreamed of, available at critical moments. Mulin appeared with Rayquaza, blocked in front of him. Now, Mulin who controls Black Meg Rayquaza. He even closed the door to the new world with his own hands. Cyrus is desperate. Been planning for so long. Spend half your life in order to realize his ideal. But now. The ideal door is closed. He is completely hopeless. Cyrus in despair. His blood surged up. He started to go crazy. Exclamation mark. Destroy everything. Cyrus kept pulling the red chain in his hand. Controlled Dialga and Palkia. Constantly moving towards the surroundings. Attacking indiscriminately. Boom tilde. Boom tilde. For a while. There was extensive damage to the entire spear pillar. Team Galactic originally assembled on Cyrus' side, been most affected. Countless Team Galactic players, engulfed by the attack of the time and space gods. All of a sudden, screams of pain erupted everywhere. But the already crazy Cyrus doesn't care about the lives of Team Galactic players at all. Although Team Galactic was formed by him. But deep down, Cyrus hates these Team Galactic players. Some crazy Cyrus about this. Mulin frowned. He doesn't care about the life and death of Team Galactic players. What he cares about is the random attack of the space-time twin gods. Lead to the collapse of space. There are many black holes around. Space seems to become unstable. Mulin's eyes froze colon dot 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 Rayquaza, it's time to settle the battle. Use Dragon Ascent. Raw Tilda. Black Mega Rayquaza roared to the sky. The Delta symbol is so bright. Mysterious and domineering black horns are all over the body. Endless turbulent flow, once again covering and sticking to the body. Rayquaza in its strongest form. Use the strongest skills. Fast to the extreme Black Mega Rayquaza. It's like traveling through time. Domineering Black Played Rayquaza. Possesses the power to make space tremble. Tilda. Black Meg Rayquaza, like a spear piercing the sky. They hit Pa, Kielma Zhao, Lucia and Dialga respectively. Push the Sinot twin gods hard into the ground. Huge punch. It made the whole Mount Coronet tremble. Under violent collision, caused a majestic gunpowder. The twin gods of time and space, fallen under the storm of Black Meg Rayquaza. After completing the attack, Rayquaza flies to Conchin, condescendingly overlooking the crowd. Look down on the world. Cyrus' hands, used to limit the red chain of the three gods of Sinot. There was a ping. 
Broken cabinet. Cyrus plans half his life's great ideal. Lost to Mulin and Rayquaza. 166 The Three Gods of Sinner. What a dutiful son! Exclamation mark. North of Mount Coronet. I didn't expect Rayquaza to have such a form in his hands. Such a clean end to the fight. At first, I thought that the Three Gods of Sinner could be lower than struggle. Giovanni, who has been watching the battle silently from a distance, a little disappointed. He retracted his gaze. Even if separated by several kilometers, Maxi can also clearly sense the majestic dragon power. Black's Megraquaza. It's really too strong. Archie didn't speak, but his face was full of dignity and disappointment. Cyrus' failure was, in a way, their failure. Such a tough Black Megraquaza. Even Giovanni told them how to get Groudon and Kyogre into primal reversion. That didn't work either, just because Rayquaza is so strong. Ha ha. Giovanni chuckled. There is no negative emotion on the face. Instead, he said expectantly, the legendary ice dragon Kyurum, known as the strongest dragon, didn't know about the dark Kyurum fused with Zekrom. Compared with Mega Rayquaza, I don't know who is the strongest dragon. It's also time to tell Gibbs where the gene wedges. Dark Kyurum, the strongest dragon? DNA splices. Maxi and Archie hear what Giovanni has to say. Immediately came the spirit, as long as Rayquaza isn't in the way. So Groudon and Kyogre, you can fight freely and without restraint. At that time, after all, the land will be wider, or the sea is wider, then we can see the difference. Giovanni's expression towards the two younger brothers came back to his eyes. Solata unwaved his hand. Okay, let's go. Yes Tilda. Yes Tilda. Pay everyone. Bring them back to Sin Alliance. Accept the Alliance's trial. Cynthia leads. The Sinot leads to capture the remnants of Team Galactic. Cyrus' plan failed, and he spit like a withered tree. I lost my temper. The rest of the Team Galactic players, because of Cyrus' last madness. Dead dead. Wounded wounded. There is no ability to resist. The arrest work of the investigators. It went extremely well. Mulin. Will something happen to them? Cynthia pointed to the Sinnoh three gods who fell on the ground to Mulin. Don't worry, I won't die. It's a legend anyway. Mulin smiled softly. The legendary physique is much stronger than ordinary Pokemon. Now they are just a little bit out of strength after the battle. During the conversation, Dialga, the least injured of the Sinnoh trio, waking up faintly. Next came Paul Kia. Not long after, Gyratana also came slowly. Awakened Sinot Riad. All eyes were on Mulin. Although Mulin led Rayquaza just now, he beat them hard. But the three gods of Sinot have no hostility towards Mulin. Even if they have, Rayquaza is up front. They dare not have either. The inheritor of the Lord soaring in the sky. Thank you for your help. Let us break free. Dialga has a thick voice. Sounded in Mulin's mind. At the same time, Gyratana and Paul Kia also looked at Mulin with kind eyes. Mulin didn't care about their thanks. Instead, he said directly, Arsuis, you should wake up soon right? This world is a merged world. Characters or plots that appear in comics, animations, and games, CGBH, are mixed with it. Now that you have come to this favorite Pokemon world, met people and Pokemon that I like and have bonds with. Of course Mulin wants to spend the rest of his life here. But this world is not peaceful, except for those evil organizations. In an attempt to subvert the world accident, there is still a huge crisis in this world. That is our Swiss, the creator god, spite to humanity. Mulin doesn't want to live a good life by himself. If you don't pay attention, the world will be destroyed by Arsuas. In the eyes of the three gods of Sinnoh, there was a unified astonishment. They obviously didn't expect the human being in front of them. He actually knew about the creation god Arsuas. But now that Mulin knew about it, the three gods no longer concealed it. After a moment of silence, Dialga spoke again. The fluctuation of Hall of Origin is getting stronger and stronger. Within a year, Father God will wake up. At that time, the crisis of destroying the world will come. The eyes of the three gods of Sinnoh are full of worry. Cynthia who was following Mulin. Her beautiful eyes were full of shock. Suddenly remembered what Carlos had said to her in Region Olympia. A real disaster to destroy the world. For Dialga's answer. Mulin was slightly surprised. But I didn't panic. He muttered. One year. I didn't expect Tarsuis to wake up so quickly. The three Sinnoh gods looked at each other. Then Dialga's thick voice came again. Heir of the Lord soaring in the sky. We want to invite you. When further God wakes up. Help us. Let's appease the wrath of God the Father together. For it. For the request of the three gods of Sinnoh. It really made Mulin stunned for a moment. The three gods of Sinnoh, created by Arsuas, and the three gods of Sinnoh, also called Arsuas as the father god. But the problem is, the three gods of Sinnoh actually invited him to fight their old father, have to say. The three gods of Sinnoh are really a filial son. 167 Mulin, if it goes on like this, the days will never pass. Mount Coronet, Spear Pillar. In midair, three different dimensional black holes appeared. The three gods of Sinnoh, respectively drilled into their own black holes, back to their respective fields. Witness the departure of the Sinot trio. Mulin waved to Rayquaza. Thank you Rayquaza. Rayquaza at this time, has completely changed changed the original skin color. Metamorphosis into pure black. Raw tilde. Rayquaza understood, and uttered a good-hearted dragon chant to Mulin. With a swing of Baimi's divine body, returned to the sky again. 
bid farewell to the three gods of sin and Rayquaza with their own eyes. Mulan inexplicably thought of a famous scene in the theatrical version of Hoopa. It is also a war between beasts, various mythical beasts after the war. They all returned to their respective territories. Only Groudon walked slowly back to the Hoenn region. Ya Tilda, can't fly Tilda. Sometimes it's quite depressing Tilda. Perhaps this is the reason. Changed Mulan subtly, so the Pokemon he conquers can fly. At this time, Hiro interrupted his thoughts. A worried voice came from beside him, Mulin. Will the awakening of the creation god Arsuas really bring about a catastrophe? Cynthia, who is familiar with ancient myths, knows. Arsuas, created this world. Arsuas can create the world, then he has the ability to destroy the world. Even this world was not created by Arsuas, but able to make the three gods of Sinnoh such a powerful beast. This also reflects the strength of Arsuas from the side. Mulin smiled softly. He comforted her and said, Yes, but it's not impossible. The sky is falling and my husband is holding it up. Do not worry, Arsuas is indeed strong. The reason he hates humans, that's because in ancient times, he lent the life gem, which is crucial to him, to human beings. When can be agreed, Arsuas failed to retrieve the life gem smoothly, and designed by humans with ulterior motives. Just untie the knot in Arsuas' heart. Believe in the creator god who is benevolent in nature. Will appease his anger. Cynthia agreed heavily. The confident Mulin gave her a sufficient sense of security. It's over. We go home. After speaking. Cynthia took Mulin's arm consciously. Time flies. A week passed. Solved the matter of the three gods of Sinnoh. Mulin and Cynthia returned to Celestic Town. Lived their loving life. One morning, Cynthia gets up early. Come together and start to freshen up. Prepare breakfast. In the dining room, Mulin and Cynthia had breakfast together. Gulu Gulu. Cynthia drank a bottle of milk. Ate a few slices of bread with jam on it. The whole person seemed full of energy. Looked to sit aside. Tasteless Mulin. Baby, are you full? When I'm full. I'll clean up the tableware. I'm not full. Mulin replied angrily. Eat quickly if you are not full. I'm going to bring Pokemon special training later. Cynthia handed over a red bin bun thoughtfully. Put it in Mulin's bowl. Mulin looked at Cynthia leisurely. I'm not talking about this. I'm hungry. Cynthia knew that Mulin meant something. Facing Mulin with burning eyes. Know what he's talking about. Helplessly reassuring him. You also know that the next championship ranking match is very important. Why? This is the first ranking match since I became the champion. I represent the Sinar region. The Sinar region must not be ashamed. Cynthia caressed Mulin's dejected face. You also want me to compete for a higher ranking, don't you? Mulin heard and grabbed Cynthia's hand, earnestly taught. No matter how important the championship ranking match is, you should also pay attention to maintaining the harmonious relationship between husband and wife. Back these days. Dot. Ask for flowers. The championship ranking match is getting closer and closer. Cynthia in order to concentrate on training, rejected some aspects of Mulin's request. Every day is training, training. During this period of time, Mulin got angry frequently. A few pimples popped out on his handsome face. No tilde. Cynthia withdrew her hand quickly. She curled her lips and said, It's not that you don't know yourself, like a Tauros, endlessly. Where do I have the energy to train Pokemon? No, you can't rely on me. Mulin retorted confidently. Let's talk. You are my future wife. Shouldn't you also fulfill your wife's responsibility? MMMMMMMMM. I can't ignore my husband for a long time. Facing Mulin's grudge, Cynthia coaxed repeatedly. My husband is good. When I finish the championship ranking competition, I will accompany you well. When the time comes, I will make you full. Mulin said without giving up. But the championship ranking competition, there is still more than a month to start. This day has not been posted. While the two were chatting. The doorbell rang outside the door, interrupted their conversation. Ding dong Tilda. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Cynthia hurriedly got up to pack the tableware. He smiled and said, It is estimated that Ash and the others came to look for you. Quickly opened the door for them. I packed my things and went to training. After speaking, he left the dining room as if fleeing. Hey Tilda. Mulin sighed heavily. Complained. Ash what fun are they having? But complaints are complaints. Mulin still got up and walked to the door. Opened the door. Originally, Mulin thought that after opening the door, he would see the Ash Trio, but never expected. There was only one person standing outside the door. This person is somewhat similar to Ash. It's just that this person's height is obviously taller than Ash. It's exactly the amplified version of Ash. 168 Cynthia, they don't pay attention to me! Exclamation mark. Two days ago, Ash has collected all the badges in the Sinar region. Get ready for the upcoming Lily of the Valley conference. So, I called Mulin. Come on Rin. Coaching coaching him. Solved the Sinar Trinity incident. Mulin is fine. He casually agreed to them. According to the agreed time, Mulan thought it was Ash outside the door. Unexpectedly, it turned out to be another version of Ash. This person is the champion of the Kanda region. Crimson, seeing Mulan's unexpected expression, with a somewhat reserved face on the red face, he said, Hello, Sleepy. Take the liberty to come here. I hope I didn't disturb you. Forehead. Hello. 377. Mulan greeted each other. Then make room. Greeting. Please come in. Thanks. Kai Hong agreed. 
He walked into the living room somewhat cautiously. Mu Lin and Kai Hong sat down respectively. Mu Lin looked at the other party curiously. The stiff Kai Hong seems to be not good at words. For a while, neither of them spoke. This kind of awkward atmosphere. It obviously made Kai Hong a little unnatural. Break the peace between the two. It's Cynthia coming out of the kitchen again. Is it Ash? Are they here? When Cynthia sees Crimson, immediately surprised, red dot 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 red? Question mark. How did you come? Also the region champion. Although Cynthia and Red have never seen each other, but have seen each other's photos, know each other's identity. You. Hello. Kai Hong stood up stiffly and said hello. Sit down. Cynthia waved her hands again and again. Ah good. Crimson quickly sat down again. Cynthia sat beside Amu Lin, naturally blocking his arm. Curiously asked. Kai Hong, you are here this time. Is there anything? Ding dong. Kai Hong was just about to answer. The doorbell rang outside the door. Excuse me, I'm going to open the door. Cynthia smiled, then stood up to open the door. Sister Cynthia, hello. Hello champion Cynthia. Hi Miss Cynthia. Come in. The Ash Trio filed in. He greeted Mulin in the room generously. Dawn smiled sweetly. Mulin big brother. Xi gang, brother Mulin, I'm here to find you. Ash, brother Mulin. Pikachu, pick up. As soon as the trio came in, they greeted Sleepy. Soon, Ash noticed the same red from his hometown Pallet Town. Surprised. Brother Kai Hong, are you here too? Maybe meet old family. Red is not so restrained. Greeted Ash friendly. Hello, Ash. Brother Chi Hong, long time no see. Ash stepped forward to chat excitedly, looking at Ash and Red. People who came out of anime and games. Mu Lin was in a daze for a while. Several people chatted briefly. Cynthia then said, by the way, Kai Hong, why are you here? Cynthia's question. All the people present looked at Kai Hong. Ahem tilde. Red cleared his throat. Not good at words. He organized his language. He said, I was training in Mount Silver. And I met Sabrina from Saffron Gym. Fighted her once. Her strength has improved by leaps and bounds. She said that there is a strong man in the Sinar region, very strong, easy to beat her. So I took the liberty to visit this time because I want to take a challenge. When Cynthia heard this, a smile appeared on her pretty face. Isn't Kai Hong talking about herself? Some time ago, Sabrina came to challenge her. Easily defeated by her. Didn't expect to beat Sabrina. It actually attracted the world's second ranked Kai Hong to come to challenge. Anyway, after a while, it will be the championship ranking match. If you want to improve your ranking, you must have a battle with Chi Hong. Fighting in advance now can be regarded as a warm-up before death. By the way, how about the opponent's strength? Thinking of this, Cynthia stood up proudly, full of ambition. He said, I accept your challenge. As soon as I heard Cynthia say this, the Ash Trio all looked at Cynthia, a battle between two region champions. That can be said to be an extremely rare thing, especially Ash. Looking forward to the match very much, Crimson looked at Cynthia in surprise, said, Miss Cynthia, I want to challenge Mulin Professor. Not you, Cynthia. What's happening here? The person you want to challenge is Mulin, not me. The red face looked at Mulin who was sitting leisurely beside him with fighting intent, nodding in affirmation. The person I want to challenge is Mulin Professor. He was not the one who heard Kai Hong wanted to challenge. There was some embarrassment on Cynthia's face. But if you think about it carefully, Kai Hong didn't talk until 3.6. A word is mentioned several times. It's a challenge. Only the lower ranking person initiates a battle request to the higher ranking person. That's the challenge. In the championship ranking, Crimson ranked second. Cynthia is sixth. Ranked lower than Crimson. Indeed. The word challenge should not be used by Red. Thinking about it this way. Cynthia also understands. I would be wrong. Just understand it. Cynthia is a little upset. Sabrina didn't even mention that she beat her. Damn Sabrina. You don't pay attention to me. 169 Cynthia with a dark heart. If you've ever played Phantom of Darkness, will definitely know. The strongest trainer must be the Crimson hiding in Mount Silver. Hide in the Crimson of Mount Silver. All Pokemon have reached level 100. Other than that, in animation, Crimson with a Cherizix defeated Mewtwo in normal form and subdued it. I don't know how far Kai Hong has grown. Facing the Crimson who condensed the fighting spirit and invited to fight. There was a hint of a smile on the corner of Mu Lin's mouth. I accept your challenge. It is good. Please. The reticent Kai Hong put away her previous restraint. Same as any other good trainer. Will quickly adjust his battle contest condition. In the training ground. Mu Lin and Kai Hong stood by each other. Ash clenched his fists tightly and stared at the battlefield intently with his eyes wide open. Looking forward to this high level battle. Learn the skills of fighting. Xiaogang's squinting eyes were full of seriousness. He was the former head of the gymnasium. I also understand that the high quality game at this time is the preciousness of those 26. Even Dawn who is not very interested in battles, also holding Piplup and watching the game. Cynthia holds the flag and acts as the referee. Seriously announce the rules of the game. The rules of this battle are 4v4 duels. When one of the four Pokemon loses the ability to fight, the other side wins, since Mulin only has four hands. Therefore, the rules of the battle between the two sides are 4v4. 
Describe the rules of the game. Cynthia retreated to the outside of the battlefield. With Cynthia's exit, Mulin and Kai Hong each took out their baby balls, at the same time thrown to the battlefield. Luca Tilda. Mulin uses his Earl Dervish Pokemon. Lucario. Ban Tilda. A Pokemon used by Crimson. It's a Tyranitar. Automatically. The date appeared in Mulin's mind. Question mark Pokemon. Tyranitar. Gender. Male. Question mark Attribute. Rock. Evil. Question mark Ability. Blowing sand, can automatically condense sand to form moves to attack rival, or condense on itself to form armor, level, 69, champion peak, potential, champion peak, question mark skills, thunder fang, ice fang, fire fang, rock throw, iron defense, scary face, rock slide, dark pulse, crunch, hydro pump, question mark genetic skills, ancient power, outrage, dragon dance, iron head, question mark contest condition, good, remarks, Tyranitar has a body that is completely motionless under any attack, and has the peerless power to easily change the surrounding terrain. Once Tyranitar goes mad, he will destroy mountains and buildings along the way. Has the title of Desert Tyrant? Question mark. Tyranitar? Xeus fighting and steel. Restraint. See the first Pokemon released by Crimson. A little surprise flashed in Mulin's eyes. This is different from what he knows. But also understand, where the Tyranitar lives. It is Mount Silver. Sure enough, as Sabrina said. Very strong. Kai Hong carefully examined Mulin's Lucario. The fighting spirit in his eyes became stronger. The immovable Lucario has a strong sense of oppression. It is this oppressive feeling. Let the red become excited. Tyranita. Use Earthquake. Crimson understands that on attribute, Lucario has restraint. Not enough to fight, not just a simple competition attribute. Tyranita is a heavyweight Pokemon. There aren't any devious side rates at all. Hard is the best result. Exclamation mark. Tyranitar roar loudly, stomp ground with heavy feet. Maybe it's because of its resemblance to Groudon, the god of the earth. Tyranitar can easily mobilize the power of the earth. Under pressure, the battlefield was immediately destroyed. There were several cracks. In the crack, it is overflowing ground energy, and earthquake this range of skills. It is most suitable for Lucario who is more flexible than himself. Once hit, will deal outstanding damage to Lucario. Mulin's eyes froze, with a little seriousness. Xiao. Use the experience of the Wave Guide to prove that you can fly. Dodge Earthquake's attack. Luca Tilda. The power of Wave Guide surged all over. The power of Wave Guide gathers at Lucario's feet. Then step on both feet. Under the control of the power of Wave Guide, let yourself form a floating space. Let the ground crack grow bigger. It was not affected at all. Such an easy trick. From Mulin's point of view, it's normal. Lucario was back in the Viridian Forest. He has already mastered the ability to use the power of Wave Guide to make himself float 057. Can be for others. This is no easy task. The Ash trio who were watching the match from the field were all shocked. Ash looked at the air. Lucario who can control his body shape freely, shouted in surprise, Is this okay? Lucario can actually fly? Xi gang, this is too outrageous. Dawn, you can fly without wings. Except for the shock on the faces of the Ash trio. Mulin's rival Crimson. His eyes were also full of surprise. He thought that Mulin might have several ways. Cracked Tyranitar's earthquake. But he never expected. It was actually cracked in such an unexpected way. Seeing Kai Hong was surprised. Cynthia on the sidelines as referee. Do not know why. My heart is dark. Think of her Garchomp. Being abused by Mulin Pokemon. So what if the region champion ranks second. Still being abused by baby Mulin. 170 Groudon can learn Aerial Ace. There are too many bugs. The outcome of the duel between masters. Often in an instant. Crimson understood that Tyranita had used so much energy to cast Earthquake. Mulin will definitely take advantage of Tyranita. Launch a counter-attack when the energy is low. Immediately opened the mouth and said, Tyranita, use field sand. Combine sand onto your body to form armor. Ban tilde. Loud draws Tyranita. Play to your own ability. Quickly remove the sand and gravel scattered round. All gathered in oneself. Formed a stronger rock armor. As expected of Kai Hong. The reaction is quick. However. The advantages of attributes and grades are indelible. Mulin secretly praised Kai Hong's reaction in his heart. Quickly opened the voice command. Xiu, use rock smash. Luca Tilda. Lucario let out a loud cry. The power of the wave guide under his feet formed an air wall. Next step bulldoze on the air wall. Arcs flashed from his body. Quickly burst out towards Tyranita. Rushing like a shooting star. At the same time, he raised his fist. Hit the Tyranita. Boom Tilda. Countless rubble flew from Tyranita's body. The newly formed rock armor shattered. Even Tyranitar is close to 3 meters thick. Also attacked strongly by Lucario. Knock out and go tens of meters. What a terrifying power. If you didn't use blowing sand to strengthen your defense just now. It is estimated that Tyranitar will lose a lot of stamina. Scarlet in the heart. Frightened Mulin Lucario's country. With one hit, Mulin took advantage of the victory again. Commanded. Xiu. Use power up punch. Luca Tilda. Lucario's figure shot out again. His fists glowed with a dazzling white light. No, can't be attacked anymore. If this continues, Tyranita will not be able to handle it. You have to keep your distance from Lucario. 
You can't let him get close. A Tyranata who is a quasi-god of the Johar region region. Although the speed is not slow, but tossing and turning at close range, it has a huge disadvantage. Red quickly changed her thinking. The urgent command said, Tyranata uses Hydro Pump slash Bantilda. The Tyranata roared. The shattered ground became wet beneath his feet. A three meter thick water column. Attack from the bottom up. See Kai Hong's moves. Although Mulan was a little surprised. But he was also prepared for this. Xiao. Give up the attack. Use quick attack to dodge. Luca Tilda. Electric arcs flared from Lucario. Suddenly changed the direction of travel halfway. Dodge to the side. Follow Mulin's instructions. Abandon the attack. Huge hydro pump attack. Hit the empty space. But also because of this. Tyranita and Lucario distanced themselves. Hydro pump Tyranita. Interesting. For the move of Tyranita just now. Mulin felt a little amusing. Rock and evil Tyranita. Ability to use other than hydro pump. You can also learn the frozen light of the ice system. This is unbelievable. This is not Enough. Rhyperia who are afraid of water can also learn Hydro Pump. Jayarados, nicknamed the Great and Vicious, is a combination of flying and water. As a flying type, can he fly? He is a flying type, can only learn one flying skill called Ejection. This skill is actually, it's just an advanced version of Water Splash. Also, as the God of the Earth, Groudon. Groudon can't fly. This is a well-known thing. But the problem is, such Groudon actually able to learn the aerial ace of the flying department. Well, none of that matters. Even if the distance is pulled away by Kai Hong. Will it be alright? That would be dead wrong. Lucario's special attack ability, but stronger than his physical attack ability. Xiu, use Aura Sphere. Luca Tilda. Lucario has left and right hands. Two Aura Spheres were quickly condensed. Head towards Tyranitar Fling. Aura Spheres, although many Pokemon can learn, but no doubt about it. This skill fits best with Lucario. Face off against the swiftly approaching Aura Sphere. Crimson can only be defensive passively. Tyranitar. Rock Tomb. Bantilda. The Tyranitar growled loudly. Lift right foot heavy stomp ground. The originally shattered site. There was a sudden tremor. Countless gravel. With Tyranitar in tow. A thick stone wall was formed. Boom Tilda. The Aura Sphere bombarded the stone wall to pieces. Skills of the Rock type and the Evil type cannot cause much damage to Lucario. Conversely, Lucario's fighting and steel systems can both have outstanding effects on Tyranitar. The disadvantage brought on by attribute. It will only be magnified as time accumulates. We must fight with all our strength. Cause damage to the opponent. Otherwise Tyranitar will only be eaten away by the opponent step by step and lose. Several rounds were fought. Red has understood. He is completely at a disadvantage right now. This situation must change. Tyranitar uses body press. Bantilda. The Tyranitar growled. Take the initiative to attack Lucario. Make the ground tremble with every step you take. Body press is a skill of the fighting department. It can cause outstanding damage to Lucario of the steel type, also Tyranitar's size. This trick can also be implemented very well. Crimson reacts very quickly, as expected of a fighter. Mulin's eyes froze. I understood Kai Hong's thoughts. If it drags on, Tyranitar has no chance of winning at all. There's only one trick for trick with Lucario. Only in this way can the maximum benefit be obtained. Since the opponent wants a decisive battle, let Li Wang's fulfill him. Xiu, use close combat. Luca Tilda. Lucario let out a howl. Also launched an impact towards Tyranitar. The massive impact Tyranitar carries, leaning all over Lucario. At the same time, Lucario's punches were like raindrops. He kept beating each other hard. Ultimately, four times weaker than fighting's Tyranitar. The first to lose. He fell heavily to the ground. Cynthia cannon to Tyranitar's side. The flag was raised to announce the result. Tyranitar is powerless to fight. Lucario wins. Kai Hong looked at rival Mu Lin Chun. His eyes became more and more burning with fighting intent. Play against such a high level rival. That's why he came all the way here. 171 Ash, brother Mu Lin won before the fight started. Miss Cynthia, you are a bit biased Tilda. Even Xia defeated Tyranitar by virtue of his rank and attribute advantages. But the backlash before Tyranitar's fall is quite powerful. Mu Lin looked at his Lucario, or Eberg poured body. Bring a lot of dust. Tyranitar's final attack. As a result, Lucario's physical strength was partially damaged. Xiao, thank you for your hard work. Mu Lin took out the baby ball and took Lucario back. Although Lucario's physical strength is somewhat compromised. But it's perfectly fine to keep fighting. But Mu Lin knows the lineup of Crimson Pokemon. Kanto Yuzangia and Pikachu are four Pokemon. It won't change. Keep Lucario on the field. Chances are it will be targeted by the Red Cherizard. After a short thought, Mu Lin is ready for his second Pokemon. At the same time, Red is also ready. Cynthia acting as referee. Confirmed that both parties are ready. Then waved the flag 193. Second round. Start. I leave it to you. Blast toy as the crimson battle begins. Then Fling released his Pokemon. At the same time, Crimson pressed the Meg Ring in her hand. Blast toy as Mega Evolution. Wart Arrow Tilda. Blast toy as let out a low growl, and his figure changed rapidly. Mega Blast toy as grows a small turtle shell on each arm. 
with a hydro pump in each shell. Originally the two doors behind the hydro pump merged into a giant hydro pump that grows in the middle of the turtle's shell. Relevant data appeared in Mulin's mind. Question mark Pokemon, Blastoise, Mega Evolution Form, Gender, Male, Question mark Attribute, Water, Question mark Ability, Mega Launcher, Increases the Power of Launching Skills, Level, 69, Champion Peak, Potential, Lower Level 3 God, Question mark Skills, Flash Cannon, Water Gun, Water Pulse, Aqua Tail, Hydro Pump, Shell Smash, Rocket Hammer, Question mark Gad, Inherited Skill, Aqua Ring, Question mark Contest Condition, Good, Remarks, the cannon on the tortoise shell is as powerful as a tank. Strong haunches allow it to stand firmly under the impact of the launch. Question mark. Use Mega Evolution right from the start. Looks like this Blastoise in red. It has been able to perfectly control the Mega Evolution form. Blastoise's potential is also very good, reaching the lower third level god. As expected of a fighter favored by the heavens. Mulin spoke highly of the red Blastoise. Then throw out the prepared baby ball. The Pokemon that participated in the battle were released. The Nightmare God. Darkrai, his tilde. As soon as Darkrai came out, he automatically swelled up the black room. The temperature of the entire battlefield. It seems that with the appearance of Darkrai, and become a bit cold. This. What is this Pokemon? Ash quickly pulled out the Pokedex. Compared with Darkrai's attribute, Dawn and Xiogang looked curiously at the Pokedex in Ash's hand at the same time. Darkrai, dark type Pokemon, known as the Nightmare God. One of the Phantom Beasts. Ash looks at the information on the Pokedex. He raised his head and looked at Xiaogang suspiciously. Xiaogang. What does Yudmans mean? Xiaogang replied solemnly, Phantom Beast. It's a Pokemon of the legendary category. Possess more powerful abilities and potential than other ordinary Pokemon. So in terms of classification, it is different from other Pokemon. Dawn half understood and said, in other words, it is very strong, right? Xiaogang, Dawn summed it up right. Ash, I really envy brother Mulin, who can tame such a special big clay. Act as referee and quit against Cynthia outside the battleground. Hear the conversation of the Ash trio, he murmured. Kai Hong probably lost this round. Ash immediately became curious when he heard Cynthia's words. Cynthia is the champion of the Sinar region. Her vision, knowledge, and combat experience far surpassed his. She said that Kai Hong would lose. There must be a reason for this. Asked, champion of Cynthia, Blastoise of the water type and Darkrai of the evil type, there is no restrained relationship between the two. Besides, the battle hasn't started yet. Why do you think the Crimson Vice will lose? Ash's query asked out the doubts in Xiaogang and Dawn's mind. Cynthia watched the two in the battle, said lightly, the reason why I said Kai Hong will lose. It's not because Mulin is my fiancé. That's because of Darkrai himself. The way he fights is weird. If you don't understand the weirdness of Darkrai, it's easy to fall into the trap. Darkrai's weird way of fighting? Ash wants to ask more details. Cynthia pointed to the two men in the battle. He said, it's started. Ash quickly looked towards the battlefield. I saw that the second round of the battle between Mulin and Kai Hong had already begun. Darkrai's shadow-like body. It's like a pool of water, dripping to the ground. Soon, it disappears. Subsequently, the shadow of Mega Blast Toy Eyes transformed into the figure of Darkrai. Two claws condense a black energy ball, embossed on the back of the Mega Blast Toy Eyes. Boom tilde. Mega Blast Toy Eyes hadn't had time to react. It has been blasted out more than 10 meters. This. Ash's eyes widened, disbelief written all over his face. Him at this time, seems to understand what Cynthia meant just now. Dive the body into the ground, then come out from rival's shadow and attack. That's really weird enough. 172 Scarlet, this round, I lost again! Exclamation mark. The moment when Mega Blastoise was blasted out, Crimson quickly issued an order, Blastoise, fight back with Water Pulse. The Crimson Breeder is excellent. Even though Blastoise was blasted out at this time, you can also turn around and adjust your body. Hands cannons on turtle shells, aimed at dark rye. At the same time, three jets of water with great impact were shot out. Very good responsiveness. It can be used to block dark rye's pursuit. Tilda. And there's still a chance to fight back. Mulin is very satisfied with Kai Hong's performance. However, he did not take advantage of this opportunity to pursue the idea. Dark rye, sneak underground to evade attacks. His tilde. Dark rye's body melted rapidly. Lurk into the ground, waiting in the wings. Blast toy eyes. Watch out for the shadow on your back. When Mega Blast Toy Eyes stabilized his figure, Kai Hong immediately confessed. Fear that Dark Rai will rise from the shadows again. Wart Arrow Tilda. Blast Toy Eyes is highly concentrated. While looking at the surrounding environment, he was also distracted by observing his own shadow. In this regard, Mulin is not in a hurry. Prevent Dark Rai from actively attacking. The reason why Mulin is not in a hurry. Yes, Dark Rai does not need to maintain Mega Evolution form. Lurk underground for him. There is no energy loss at all. But the red Blastoise is different. Although it can perfectly fit the Mega Evolution form. 
but keep it that way. But every minute and every second consumes physical strength and energy. One ebbs and another. Only Mulin will have the upper hand. Obviously the current situation of the war. Crimson is also clear. After half a minute of stalemate, Crimson took the lead in launching the offensive. Blast eyes. Use water pulse on ground. Crimson's idea is simple. Since Dark Rai who sneaked into the ground cannot come out, then take the initiative to find him. Water arrow tilde. Mega blast toy eyes growled. The gun barrel on the hand and the back. Continuously launch water column attacks against the ground. Soon. The entire venue was under the impact of a continuous water column. It turned into a muddy field. Crimson also got her wish. Forced out the Dark Rai lurking underground. Blast toy eyes. Rain dance. After Dark Rai appeared. Chihong immediately spoke. Water arrow tilde. Blast toy eyes's muzzle. Aimed high into the air, spit up invisible water energy. Dark clouds immediately appeared in soaring in the sky. There was a light drizzle of rain. Under the blessing of rainy weather, the moves of the water system have been greatly improved. Actions for Blast Toy as Mulin didn't stop it. He just silently watched the other party's actions from the sidelines. Because he had already guessed what Kai Hong was thinking, and have a countermeasure plan. Crimson must be within the duration of the Blast Toy Eyes Mega Evolution. Causes effective damage quickly. That's why I use Rain Dance to further strengthen the power of Blast Toy Eyes's moves. Very correct idea. It's just that sometimes, too much right isn't necessarily right. Mulin accurately grasped Kai Hong's battle strategy, as Mulin expected. Under the rainy weather bonus, Crimson moves quickly. Blast Toy Eyes. Use Hydro Pump. Water Arrow Tilde. Blast Toy Eyes Roared. Lock on Rival Dark Rye with eyes fixed. Barrels on hands and back. Crazy accumulation of energy. Suddenly, three salvos. A 10 meter thick water dragon was transformed into the air, bombarded towards Dark Rye. At the same time, Mulin also said, Dark Rye, use Dark Pulse! Exclamation mark. Haze condenses on Dark Rye. Evil energy rolled over. A black light shot out. Hydro Pump versus Stark Pulse. The moment the black light touched the water dragon, quickly dissipating the impact of the water dragon. But in rainy weather, after Blast Toy Eyes Mega Evolution, with the power of the Mega Launcher's ability, coupled with the skill power of Hydro Pump, it is much higher than Dark Pulse. Black light emitted by Dark Rye. It was quickly suppressed. Then the rushing water dragon bombarded on Dark Rye's body. Although the impact of the water dragon weakened to a certain extent. Dot dot task for flowers. But the impact of the remaining potential. It also caused Dark Rye to lose a lot of physical strength. Blast Toy Eyes hits it all. When causing substantial damage to Dark Rye. Scarlet was not at all happy. Instead, the alarm rings in my heart. Wrong. It went so well. Crimson stared at the battle situation covered with water quickly. I saw the corners of Mulin's mouth slightly raised. And he takes a hard hit from Hydro Pump Stark Rye. The claws kept waving. Blast Toy Eyes. Kai Hong quickly looked at her Pokemon, only to be seen on the head of Mega Blast Toy Eyes. Suddenly, a different dimensional black hole appeared. In the black hole, stretched out more than ten pairs of black hands. Although Kai Hong saw such a weird move for the first time, dot 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 zero. But you don't have to think about it. This is definitely not an ordinary move. Immediately shouted, Blast Toy Eyes, dodge. Water arrow tilde, Blast Toy Eyes growled, trying to move away. It's a pity that I used water pulse, rain dance. And finally the powerful hydro pump just now. In a short time, it can't dry the thick tortoise shell well at all. He could only watch the black hand helplessly drag the consciousness of Blast Toy Eyes, trapped in forced sleep contest condition. Mega Blast Toy Eyes enters forced sleep contest condition, immediately wrapped in haze. This is exactly the ability of Inclay's Nightmare God. As long as Rival falls asleep, it will automatically reduce the opponent's physical strength. But is that all? Mulin said, Dark Rye. Dream Eater, hissed Tilda. Dark Rye Black's claws waved again and again. Blast Toy Eyes is constantly infiltrated by evil energy in his sleep. Absorb stamina and energy from him to supplement itself. Soon, Dark Rye was injured by the Water Dragon bombardment just now. Got restored. Crimson looked at Blast Toy Eyes, who was lying on the ground. There are stars shining from the body nonstop. Converged on Dark Rye. You know, the tide is over. One round. Lost again. 173 Ash. That Pikachu is so strong. Quite normal. In the second round. The winner was Mulin. Cynthia acting as referee dutifully raised the flag to announce the result of the battle. Ash witnessed the entire battle process, exclaimed, I finally understand why Miss Cynthia just now, so confident that brother Mulin will win, can hide the body underground, transformed from rival's shadow, plus that move that drags the enemy into sleep contest condition. Dark Rise offensive methods are really hard to guard against. See how gang listened on the sidelines, nodding. Ash is right, except for the defenseless means of attack. Coupled with Mulin's experience conductor, there is no solution. Dawn holding pickle up, Mulin big brother must win. There are still two rounds left, and the whole battle will be over. Dawn's unintentional words. Let Ash and Xiao Gang have a thrill. Unknowingly, 187 has fought for two rounds. These two rounds, both easily defeated the Red Tyranitor and Blast Toy Eyes. In other words, the current battle situation is 4v2, who is red, that's the champion of the Kanto region, and in championship qualifying, ranked second strong, unexpectedly, 
fell into such a big disadvantage. Brother Chi Hong, Brother Mu Lin won't shave his head. Ash had some thoughts in his mind. For the two rounds of defeat, the bonus does not care. The road to the strong is bound to be bumpy. Occasionally some failures. It's not unacceptable either. It is important to absorb lessons from failure. This is the mentality that a strong man should have. The battle started because I'm not familiar with Dark Rai. Cause my Blastoise eyes suffered a lot. I let Blastoise eyes force Dark Rai into shape. Next. I use Rain Dance and you don't take the opportunity to attack, because you are waiting for Blastoise eyes to use the powerful skills while using the gap that can be temporarily kicked to organize the attack, and finally use Dream Eater to end the battle. Crimson replayed the previous battle. He sincerely praised, I feel, every time I act, it's all counted by you. He he, facing Kai Hong's admiration, Mulan just smiled slightly, reclaimed Dark Rai. He said calmly, shall we continue? Kai Hong nodded full of fighting spirit continue. Both sides are ready. Cynthia waved the flag aside. Let both players choose which Pokemon to use for the next round. I'm ready. Kai Hong held a baby ball. The burning fighting spirit in the eyes is as strong as the scorching sun. Mu Lin's A's shifted to the precious ball in Kai Hong's hand. He looked again at the site that was about to become a pond, and soaring in the sky is still raining. I probably guessed Kai Hong in my heart. Which Pokemon will be chosen to appear? Pulled out the baby ball, nodding to Cynthia. I'm ready to confirm that both parties are ready. Cynthia waved the flag. Third round. Start, my buddy. Give it to you. Kai Hong threw a baby ball towards the battlefield. After the red light, a yellow mouse appeared in the battlefield. It's the red trump card. Also the crimson Earl Dervish Pokemon. Pikachu. Question mark Pokemon. Pikachu. Gender. Male. Question mark Attribute. Electricity. Ability. Static electricity. With static electricity on the body, when using contact moves to attack a Pokemon with this ability, there will be a certain chance to paralyze rival. Level. 70. Lower third level god. Potential. Median third level god, question mark skills, thunder shock, sweet kiss, quick attack, thunder wave, double team, iron tail, electro ball, spark, thunderbolt, thunder, genetic skill, tickle, question mark, contest condition, good, remarks, perhaps due to the blessings of the heavens, this Pokemon has excellent aptitude, its own strength is strong, and it has a high affinity for electric energy, question mark, sure enough, it's Pikachu. Mulin is in front of the opposite station. I guess that the Pokemon sent by Crimson is most likely Pikachu. After all, Kai Hong had already lost two rounds in a row. Plus the wet weather right now. It is suitable for the display of electrical skills. Mulin is just about to unleash his Pokemon and start fighting. I heard Ash on the side shouting loudly. Brother Red's Pikachu. So strong. Ash swallowed. His eyes focused on the Red Pikachu. Ash's exclamation was not without reason. Crimson Pikachu. Although small in size. But after all. He broke through the shackles of race, reached the level of the lower level three gods, exudes a powerful momentum. In the meantime, add the crimson Pikachu. Like Kai Hong, his eyes were filled with burning fighting spirit. From time to time, electric arcs are exposed on the body. It looked majestic. Pikachu, if you are this strong, the champion of Lily of the Valley Conference must be ours. As long as we work together, in the future, you will be able to reach the height of that Pikachu. Ash holds his Pikachu. Encouragement. Come on, pick up Tilda. Ash's Pikachu clenched its paws. A very motivated look. Because of the strength of Crimson Pikachu. Inspired Ash. Face off against Ash, who is driven and hopeful for the future. Dawn tapped Ash on the head with his hand. Angrily said, Ash, now is not the time for you to make up your mind. Do you know what you were yelling just now? Interrupted the battle between Mulin Big Brother and Kai Hong. Ash was reminded by Dawn's kindness. Find all eyes. All focused on him. Suddenly scratched his head in embarrassment. He bowed his head to the crowd and said, Sorry, I was a little excited just now, sorry, sorry, for the somewhat reckless Ash. Everyone also knows that his character is a bit carefree. Did not care. Cynthia acting as referee, waving the flag again, he announced, the third round of the battle, continue. The battle restores order. It's also Mulin's turn to send out Pokemon, fling the baby ball in your hand. After a burst of red light, a giant Dragonite as tall as 30 meters, 2.0 stood out in the battlefield. Raw Tilda, a giant Dragonite appears. The aura of the third level god in the middle spread out to the surroundings. Completely suppressed the aura of the red Pikachu. See such a huge Dragonite. Everyone present except Cynthia. The rest of the people were shocked. Is this really Dragonite? This is too big. Apart from shock, Ash also had complicated emotions. The red Pikachu is already strong, but did not expect. Mulin's huge Dragonite is directly on the momentum. Crush the opponent. In contrast to the two, Ash thought to himself, in comparison, looks like Kai Hong's Pikachu. The strength is also normal. 174 Cynthia, my husband, too. Although the huge Dragonite looks silly, but the aura exuded made Kai Hong understand. The order of the giant Dragonite completely on top of his Pikachu. The strength of Pokemon has improved, is a slow process. The higher you go, 
The harder it is. Need to go through an uphill battle constantly. Only then has something been gained. This trip to Sina is worth it. Crimson is not because of Mulin's huge Dragonite. Frustrated by Hikari being stronger than his Pikachu. Instead, the fighting spirit in his eyes burned even more vigorously. The strong will not be intimidated by rival's strength. On the contrary, it will be more courageous. The beginning of the battle. Kai Hong immediately shouted, Pikachu, use Thunderbolt. Absorb the experience of the previous two battles. Red didn't intend to use any strategy. Straightforward. Under such an exaggerated body size of a huge Dragonite, Pikachu is on strength. No advantage at all. Pikachu tilde. Pikachu felt Crimson's surging fighting spirit. Intense electric arcs appeared all over his body. The arcs converge. Instantly shot a thunder force. Same. Mulin also did not choose a roundabout tactic. Commanded loudly, big man. Dragon Claw, Raw Tilda, Stupid Giant Dragonite. Quickly enter the battle contest condition. Show off the power of the third level god. Huge Dragon Claw. Transformed into a larger energy claw. Printed towards the thunder that was coming from the bombardment. Boom Tilda, Thunderbolt vs Dragon Claw. Two kinds of energies with violent reactions. The electric system and the dragon system. Collided together. Immediately there was a loud bang. Pikachu. Keep using Thunderbolt. Big man. West Paw. The smoke and dust caused by the collision has not yet dissipated on both sides of the battlefield. Then they accumulated two surges of energy again. Boom Tilda. The violent energy collision shocked people. The Ash Trio, due to the blast caused by the collision, involuntarily took a few steps back. A crash just stopped. Another round of bombing immediately followed. Until eight consecutive bombings. Mulin and Kai Hong. Only then did they stop tacitly. Wait for the smoke to clear. Only then did he see clearly the situation on the battlefield. Who Tilda? The red Pikachu lay on the ground panting heavily. Hatilda, Mulin's huge Dragonite, spit up in two breaths. Intense energy bombardment. Neither side is feeling well. But always, it is still the huge Dragonite of the middle third level god, which is more dominant. Crimson clearly felt her own Pokemon already at the limit. He clenched his fist tightly. Pikachu Tilda. Let's fight as hard as we can. Pick up Tilda. Pikachu returned him a determined look. Kai Hong shouted. Then let us go. Thunder. Pick up Tilda. Pikachu's growl resounded throughout the battlefield. The dark clouds soaring in the sky seemed to be responding to him accordingly. Lightning roar. Thunderbolt. Several thunderbolts with a thickness of three meters. Bombard the giant Dragonite. Perhaps it was Kai Hong's passion for fighting that infected Mu Lin. Mu Lin's eyes froze, and the inside seemed to be shot out. Also shouted, Big Man. Hyper Beam. Roar Tilda. The giant Dragonite roared, although far less powerful than Rayquaza's dragon might. But also the whole Celestic Town, shrouded in his roar, opened a huge mouth. A rich energy that was too terrifying to look at was accumulated in his mouth. Suddenly exploded. Meet the Thunderbolt of Lightning, Tilda. On the battlefield, there was an unprecedented explosion. Ash Threesome, can't wait to put the whole hand in the ear. Fortunately, Cynthia summoned her Melotic. Use the light screen to surround several people. Isolate the crackling sound that is enough to make people's ears ring. When the popping noise dissipates, this round of battle is also over. Not surprisingly, even better is Mulin's giant Dragonite. Tried it for a while. Crimson sends out the last Pokemon. Chair is at the pinnacle of the championship. No other surprises either. Under the huge gap of equal rank, Mulin's huge Dragonite easily defeated. At this point, the entire battle is over. Win with Mulin and lose Veilstone. Crimson took back Chair Rizard, who was exhausted. Hatilda. He exhaled heavily. He is militant, although he doesn't like the feeling of failure. But still looked at Mulin seriously. I lost. But I showed my best contest condition. I lost very hard. It's great to lose too. You did exactly what Sabrina said. A rival beyond imagination. After speaking, Hong took her off the hat on his head. He bowed to Mulin. Thank you. Mulin, you let me experience an extreme battle. I also benefited a lot from fighting against you. Mulin helped Kai Hong up and replied with deep feelings. Crimson gave him a very good impression. Not discouraged by defeat. It is the same rare quality as winning without arrogance. 443 Mulin. I have something to ask you. Kai Hong said to Mulin seriously. For the red that has a good impression. Mulin said directly. Say it. Kai Hong considered her words for a while. He said, there are too many things about you that I need to learn. And after fighting against you, I also realized one thing. Instead of staying on Mount Silver and working behind closed doors, it's better to play against the strong. So. I want to worship you as my teacher. Please teach me. Mulan couldn't help being a little stunned by Kai Hong's words. Subconsciously looking at Cynthia. Cynthia was stared at by Mulin. Said she was also confused. Crimson is the champion of the Kanda region. Champion ranked second strong. Actually worship Mulin as a teacher. But think about it too. Someone who can defeat Crimson so easily. Probably only Mulin. It is understandable for Kai Hong to make such a move. Comprehensible is understood. Cynthia is still a little hard to accept emotionally. But more. It is pride and pride. My husband. I'm dead. 175 Xiaogang is wearing an apron, blushing plus twisting. The picture is too hot for eyes. Facing Kai Hong's apprentice request, Mulin said, We are about the same age, 
So it's inappropriate for you to call me teacher. Red shook his head, seriously said, teachers are those who have never learned before and who have achieved success. Your breeder's Pokemon is stronger than mine, uses tactics better than I do. The grasp of rival's heart is even more powerful. These are the things I need to learn from you. This this. Mulin didn't know what to do with the crimson. Then he subconsciously looked at Cynthia. I want her to give some advice. Cynthia nodded towards Mulin, indicated that he could take Kai Hong as his apprentice. The champion ranks second in Crimson, apprenticeship to his fiancée. It's exciting to think about it. It's too kind to say it. Crimson's persistence. Plus Cynthia nods too. Mulin had no choice but to reluctantly agree. Okay. Teacher Tilda. Kai Hong bowed respectfully to Mulin. Crimson's successful apprenticeship reminds Ash on the side. Ash also said, Brother Mulin, I want to be a teacher too. Originally Ash came to find Mulin. Just ask Mulin to help him prepare for the next Lily of the Valley Conference. Apprenticeship. It's just a matter of course. Ash. Crimson is dealt with, and another Ash comes. Ash and Mulin are relatively familiar. There is no such restraint as Kai Hong. He smiled and said, Brother Mulin, we have known each other for so long. You will definitely agree, right? Although I am not as powerful as Kai Hong. You have said it before tilde apostrophe. I'm a very talented person in combat. I will definitely become a great trainer in the future. So I should also be qualified to be your apprentice? Mulin, all right. That's all Ash said. Mulin had no choice but to accept him reluctantly. Teacher Tilda. Ash imitated Kai Hong's appearance and bowed to Mulin, looking at Chi Hong and Ash. One is the protagonist in the animation. One is called Kai Yi. These two people who are somewhat similar in appearance are apprentices to themselves. For some reason, Mulin felt a little dazed. It's different from Mulin who feels in a trance. The emotion in Cynthia's heart. Excitement takes the majority. Crimson, the second-ranked region champion. Apprenticeship to his fiancée. If this news is published, I don't know how many people were shocked. Cynthia praised Mulin in her heart. Baby Mulin, well done. Ash is preparing for the Lily of the Valley Conference. Red is going to have special training. Prepare for ranked champions like Cynthia. So... The Ash Trio and Crimson. So I stayed at Mulin's house for a period of time. This is not a big problem. Anyway, Mulin and Cynthia's home is big enough. A seven-story bungalow accommodates these people with ease. Wide courtyard, several training grounds, battlefields, etc. are also designed for Pokemon to use. On the battlefield, Cynthia controls Garchomp. Fight the Red Tyranitar. Ash watched carefully from the side. The other side. Mulin's Pokemon follow the training strategy he developed. Training in an orderly manner. Although I accepted Ash and Red as apprentices, but most of the time, not much use Mulin bothered. Just a comment or two from time to time. Xiao Gang was wearing an apron, holding a bottle of his carefully prepared drink. Quietly walked to Mulin's side, ingratiatingly handed over the drink in his hand. Mulin, drink it. This is what I prepared specially for you. Mulin took the drink that Xiao Gang handed over. Take a sip. Just like in the animation, Xiao Gang has strong cooking talent. The resulting drink tastes great. It tastes pretty good. Mulin boasted. Hey, Xiao Gang narrowed his eyes, opened the mouth and said, Mulin, what do you want for lunch later? I'm going to prepare. The Ash Trio stayed at Mulin's house. Xiao Gang consciously undertook all the housework, change patterns every day to make delicious food for Mulin. At first, Sleepy Piao was a little embarrassed. But Xiao Gang insisted strongly. Mulin also readily accepted. After all, Xiao Gang is indeed very talented in cooking. Mulin ordered like a customer, I want to eat braised prawns. The char grilled T bone is also good. The meat floss rolls you made last time are pretty good. A little more, too, for the staple food. Kimbap is fine. Okay, no problem. Xiao Gang took out a small notebook from his apron. Record what Mulin wants to eat. A proper male version of maid. Got it. Recorded Mulin's requirements. Xiao Gang may feel that Mulin is in a good mood. With a flattering smile, Mulin, there is something I want to ask you. What's up? Mulin looked at Xiao Gang curiously. Matilda, Xiao Gang, who was wearing an apron, had some redness on his face. I don't know how to place my hands and feet. Whispering in his mouth, then. That, Xiao Gang dressed up in an apron plus blushing plus tweaking posture. The picture is a bit hot and eye-catching. Seeing Xiao Gang's twitchy look, Mulin subconsciously took a step back, staring at each other vigilantly. Xiao Gang. Are you okay? If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.